Somebody is searching for the right child. Somebody is telling you what's right. Now you're going to have to decide what you're gonna do the next if you take it. What is the next step you're going to take in line, darling? <laughs> the next step you take in line. What is that step going to be, child? Oh, welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here I'm fashionably late as usual because I'm rushing. Look, guys, my hair is still wet. <sighs> I threw all this on. I was like, Laura, you are off schedule. You are completely behind. And then I said, you know what? That's okay because I got this gift in the mail that I'm wearing. This amazing goldenrod, amazing outfit from Susie Powers, I believe. I, it says Powers on the box. Anywho, I'm very excited. So I might just be changing my gloves and adjusting my new Look at how cute this is, guys. If I could stand up on my chair. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Look at how cute that is. Look, even the back has this cute swoop. I just can't. This is so fun. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. I'm so excited. Um, we have here today Amy Scobie and Janice Gillum Grady. I'm bringing them both to the stream now. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. I, should I stand on my chair and show you my pants? <laughs> yes. <laughs> golden rod. Yes. I'm golden we are, rod. We all have our, uh, our our uniforms in. I was slightly off schedule and late, but here we are. Oh my god. That's okay. You can just take a quick lap after after this. Oh, she should do more than push one lap. She more needs than to do lap. two laps. Two laps <laughs> for being to... late. <laughs> well, I pretty much did that getting getting ready and onto this stream. I was like yeah. running laps, running laps. But look, I put the lipstick on, the air, the hair is drying. The uh yeah, my new crochet new outfit is on. I'm definitely probably gonna wear this for either the next live show. Or maybe just continue wearing these little streams. Um, again, I'm going to be shifting on different types of. I just can't look at how cute this is. I love it. It's great. It suits you so perfectly. Yeah, and now I feel a little more girly instead of wearing all these, you know, mandatory uniform <laughs> inspection. <laughs> <laughs> and oh I got these goodness. these honey drop uh, B. See that I'm wearing because it's goldenrod. Honey drop, you know, uh, yeah, a bee necklace and earrings. So, because we're, you're, you're we're all coordinated, and yeah, you have your HCO ethics. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> your colors are standard, <laughs> and you are uh, a queen honey BSP. Uh, the queen. What do you What do you say, queen honey queen BSP? Bee. Queen, queen bee. BSP. My husband is the honey bee. I'm the queen bee SP. He, he's the honey bee. <laughs> <laughs> so look everybody says you look y'all look so beautiful with the yeah. coordinated golden rod um yeah. we were not coordinated this just happened oh yeah they <laughs> sent me to go change even though i had golden rod pants on <laughs> yeah she was upset and she was uh sitting she was arrived waiting in her line ahead of everybody and then she got sent back yeah out of uniform <laughs> She flunked the <laughs> uniform inspection. Yeah, yeah she flunked it. That was funny. <laughs> Great guys, thank you for being here. And um, and this and Amy was on our last one. We were talking with Gary, and this is just so cool because Janice was uh, part of the whole production of the beginning of the Int Ranch and the bait, the gold base at the time, and all that. So this is really cool to be able to marinate in like your guys's sides and any any stories you remember that we go through this and again any of the parents that you might know because a lot of these yeah. um, I'm going to show a lot of uh, the kids and maybe the property around or whatever and a lot of memories will come up and people watching will also know like oh my god they'll they'll all be having their own conversations about this yeah. as well because this is where we 
a lot of a lot of interesting uh, things occurred in all of our lives connected to the, to all of this. So, thank That's you. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interesting so I, is one word for it. <laughs> I mean, I was like, it's like, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> like, there's no word. <laughs> there's no yeah. enough word for it. That's right. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, good. So um, I'm going to run through it. Um, you guys, oh, I didn't, you know what's going on here. I always forget to go to my audios and put my speaker it pots. headphone now i can hear you guys properly you guys were coming out the computer and i forgot oh, and now okay. i can hear you like you're right here right here in my ears <laughs> nice right where you're snuggly should be okay so i'm gonna bring some things up um some of them may be repeats of things i've already shown but it will be good because even for janice mm -hmm. she'll be like nope that gate was never there in fact we should just run through that let's run through the quick photos i'm going to bring up Ooh. pop up some photos and if there's something okay. you, you guys can pause and let you know talk about it or whatever um good let me pop this one open I, I like to run into little accents and things as i go to keep it interesting in case we're bored <laughs> Okay. Never, never <laughs> bored with you, Laura. <laughs> Guys, people are a little bored. Okay, so Janice, we talked about this. Yes. Um, uh, me and Amy talked about this one. Oh, I didn't share it, did I? Did I? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I can see it. We this. Do you remember this? What do you think when you see this, Janice? <laughs> okay, that was not there during my days. <laughs> exactly. And I, I left in the middle of the road being paved to get there. Oh, interesting. So Gary, again, there you go. That just proves what Gary said was right. So when Gary was there from the beginning, he said, uh, they sprayed down that, uh, we clarified it's, uh, it's asphalt. asphalt, not asphalt. I thought it was asphalt, like, cause the color of the pavement looks ashy and it looked like hot lava or something anyways that's all kid just kid things just throwing yeah. in whatever i think it might mean uh especially because i was like it couldn't be ass <laughs> you're not well, allowed to say ass <laughs> anyways they he said gary said they sprayed down the pavement to make it look all shiny and bright like that uh and they did put in that road that road was never there it yeah, was a it, gravel road it was dirt and gravel yeah and then we put that down in australia we call it bitumen Oh, Not interesting. asphalt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, so but, asses and, that and bitches. A, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> hey, I didn't say that one, y'all. That came out of Amy's mouth in case y'all are listening and not watching. <laughs> but, <laughs> also, um, okay, the, cac yes. the cactus gardens were not there. The sign was no. not there. The gate that was there was the one that Bill Dendu blew through in his Crash sports car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he probably could have just know. opened it. <laughs> yeah, he was in a too too angry to do that. Oh, yeah. he, he needed to, to he, he to needed to out, leave his uh, Yeah, he needed to leave his interbulation behind at the gate. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's too funny. Yeah. Okay, good. So there you go. That just clarified that one. I mean, not clarified. It just, it's just, it's so interesting because the, for, for us as kids pulling up, this gate was here, but not as nice. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't electronic. I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, I don't know if you know this. I zoomed in on the other one, but right here, Janice, you see, this is a, yeah. a security code box that opens the gate electronically and oh, only okay. this side of the gate opens. Oh, okay. Well, that yeah. that fence, that wall was also not there. That brick wall, that was not there. None of these, right? Or where? No. What brick wall? No. You mean go all this? The, the rocks? Yeah, but go over to the other side. There's a there's a brick wall that that uh, electronic stuff is on. That was not there. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The electronic stuff. Yeah, all of this was all put in here, so you can't even really see. You wasn't. You weren't meant to see the box clearly. It's just supposed to be for whoever's coming in. Anyways, yeah. Right. So some people would pull up to the gate and then you know would just talk directly to security through the um, microphone uh, through the box. Okay. So now I'm just gonna. So as you're going into the gate, I'm sharing screens. I mean, I'm sharing the maybe same videos. Actually, probably same exact video uh, photos. But this is when you're driving up through the gate. So none of this was there, I'm sure, with you, right, Janice? 
No, because when you came through nice. the gate, you went to the left and it kind of curved right. around. Which is Not this. So nice. we're driving up. We're, yeah. This is where you would drive up and then goes around and then I'll get into the new oh. one. Yeah. So this is all okay. older. It was just yep. gravel. Yeah. So let's see. These are the far shots. Let's go to. Oh, this is. That's so funny. This is the um, Campbell house. We talked about that, right? Yeah. Oh, let, that's where the share. RPF were. Oh, interesting. So. Is that where they were with you when you were there, Amy? No. Okay, so that's a whole different thing. No, so when I was out, go ahead. When I was out to help set up the ranch, the Campbell House was where the RPF all, all lived. Okay, so this is the really? back side of the Campbell House, like where you, yeah. where you, right? Does that look familiar? And, yeah, and they had some trailers there as well. Oh, interesting. Like out on the on this part, on the outside. Yeah, on the outside. I remember they had, I remember an overview shot of when, um, of the RPF with a ton of trailers. And I went out and visited Jim, who was my husband, who was on the RPF for four years, hadn't seen him in four years. And I went out there just to decide if I was going to stay married to him or not. And it was in a bunch of trailers, but I'd never seen, I never even went into the Campbell house the whole time I was there. Oh, no, wow. I didn't either. Yeah, in all the years See, I was there. It has this spooky thing about it. it. Even the people there were like, it's always been this like away from the property, mm -hmm. its own mm -hmm. thing. And even as cadets at the Int Ranch, we always knew it as either the adults birthing. So you definitely don't go over there. That's, you know, that's where the adults are. And um, or security. And it ended up being where anybody would be trying to run away or blow or anything like that. They would be put mm -hmm. here under 24 hours. Yeah. Watch. Same as when I was there. It was used for guarding people and for the RPF because Paul was out there in the RPF. But I, if I was going to meet him, I met him over in the other section where yeah, the kids were. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's any other Campbell House ones. Um, oh, I'm yeah. We did. I... What's that? I was going to see if I can find that overview uh, photo. I'll, well, oh, I'll here's the other. Keep... Here's here's another side of the. Um, I can exit that one. <laughs> Still getting used to all these buttons. Um, 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 um. Okay, so this one here, hide that. Okay, that'll make it easier. This one we can exit, and then I want to show you guys this one. So this is like the back side of the Camel House. Um, boom, boom, boom. Hey, open up for me right now. <laughs> okay, there. Can you see it? Oh, share. No. There we go. See, so oh, this okay. was. The, but they obviously make this is what them like trying. This is them Scientology trying to be like, oh, yeah, this is how nice it was. There's art easels and everything was great. <laughs> And it's like, no, these were never out here. <laughs> there was always no. like security trucks and everything parked here and all kinds of people on watch. Yeah. And the, you couldn't make a run house. for it because there was nothing around it at all besides open field. So right, you, you couldn't could make be a run easily for be it. seen. Mm -hmm. In that, any direction. That's, that's where they locked up Annie for several months before she did the RPF and made her that's study every lrh book she had to read them again yeah or read them and they had her under guard at the campbell house yep that's so that's what that was campbell house for uh, for for all i've known was always been something having to do with ethics or hco or justice or somebody under watch or somebody trying to kill themselves or something like that so it's always <laughs> been this weird Spooky. Yeah. Okay. I also, Janice, let's quickly, I wanted to, I showed you, um, Janice wasn't here, but Amy was, and I wanted to show the whole entrance. I found another video of us when we we're driving from onto through the Indian, uh, security, uh, property gate and all that. Um, so I will show that. So it kind of, you will be able to see the, I think it's ranch right here, this one. So I want to share this and you won't be able to hear it, but, um, here, I can put that down. But I'm going to fast forward it too. So, but you'll be able to recognize uh, the trip. And for those watching who have no, who haven't seen this stuff for 15 years or more, 
um, you'll be able to notice where here, I'm going to move this out of the way and hide that. Um, so this is if you were leaving, uh, you guys can see that, right, Janice? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. So I'm going to mute mine, but I'm going to fast forward this. So this was on the way. Uh, this is, uh, we would be, we already passed the gold base by this point, I think. Yes. And, and I'll show that on the next one, but this is, I'm going to speed this up. I'm in the car driving to the Saboba. Um, in fact, you could, these lights kind of look familiar even to me when I see them, but you're driving toward the ranch mm -hmm. from the gold base. And you just went through that light where you would either go right to go to the Mm -hmm. go back around to gold or go straight to go to like toward the casino and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Towards the well, different, different from 33 drive. years ago. Oh yeah, for oh, sure. Okay. So God. this, this is now how it is for those watching wow. uh, here. Let's rewind. This is the, this is, they actually stop you right at, it's like kind of near after the casino. Uh, the, this is now, uh, Saboba Indian property. And these are the security guards. Uh, so is so, this before you turn left to go through the reservation? Exactly. This is before okay. we're watched. So we get through here. We say, hello, hi, hi, whatever, right? Okay, you guys are clear and blah, blah, blue. Go, go, go. Faster. Hold on. Fast. <laughs> we can speed all this nonsense up. So we get we get through and then we, we're told to go to the administration office, which I believe these, this administration office is the same place where all the cadets did their PR video. Uh, for the in, for all the locals to raise like you know friendliness and you know just to raise the PR with Scientology cadets in the Ant Ranch with the you know the locals, and so it was just interesting. I'm fast forwarding through all this, but it was interesting to be driving down this road and then going there to meet people at the administration building, and I'm like, oh, this is the building where I was like eight or nine, ten years old doing this dance with the rest oh, of the my. kids. So weird. Yeah. Okay. So here, um, so yeah, they sent us this place, which is on the way. This is the corner of where Cassio Canyon School Road is, that road. So now we're leaving the administration area, and you're going to see right, you'll see right where we're turning left, and then everything will start to look, not everything, but... <laughs> Uh, well, none here. of that was there when I was there. Yeah, no, right. they built all this at the beat. They built all this up. This is all Indian property. Okay, so now we're turning right here. This is where you'd be turning left to go on Casio Canyon Road to mm -hmm. through the through the reservation. Yep. Does that make does do you remember that? Yep. So yep. we're looking yeah, we're turning left here. And I'm saying left yep. is on the my left is where I did the dance and everything for the PR. Blah blah blahs. Okay. I'm yeah. So they built forward. all of this stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. None of none of. Okay. It here there. it is. Just... Casio Canyon Road. Boom. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now we're going down, and he'll eventually move the camera this, to the road. And this is the road that the Indians would shoot. Yep. At the On, bus. Yes. Exactly. As we were driving, <laughs> uh, that's true. It it sounds horrible. I drove but... on this so many times. Oh my goodness! For years. This is, I I'm glad that this is here so that people are able to just remember this drive. Yeah. Some people are going, yeah. wait, what? I don't, I mean, it may not look familiar because it's, you know, not Scientology land. So yeah. Anyway, so we're going here. I'm going to speed it up a tiny and I want to slow it down as we get near. You remember the cattle grill, that grill that every time you got on the property it would go Goo -goo and you would know yeah. like, Oh, there's the property line. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That was at so, the top of the hill before yeah, you yeah. go down. Yep. Exactly. And I just, okay, it's coming up right here. I'm going to slow. So you, here you and can I, see to the right, it says Saboba <laughs> Oaks. Here's that whole view. This is what I used to look at when I would run away from the ranch. Yeah. When I was blowing. And over here to the right is the big, big orange orchard and all that. And then to the left and all this is the dump, the Indian the dump, dump and all that. And, and yes. then all Indian property. So let's play from here. So this white gate and all that wasn't here. But this right. is how we would know right here. Security would see if the German reporters or whoever the SP is coming to get information on what's here's that grill. Gugush, the cow grill. Yep, yep. I would remember that. Like, oh, we're back Me on too. the property. Yeah. I would wake up. I would wake up. I was like, oh, yep, we're almost there. <laughs> okay, exactly. we're almost there. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, oh, let's see if I can see any coyotes or anything in the creek. 
None of this white fencing was there. Yeah, this is all new, the white fencing. But the roads and everything really did exactly look the like same. This. Yeah. Minus minus it was gravel, but um Yeah. And not not paved at the time. And but. not as green. I, it was very bush like fire bush. I remember yeah. a lot of a lot of trees as we got closer. Yep, that's it's coming up. Because we're get that all the, the oak trees. Yeah, all the, the water trees. is down here. Yep. And the creek and everything. That's mm -hmm. right. And 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 there's many times people, parents from the gold base would blow. They would they would decide to take the creek. It would be long in a long haul, but they would take. I'm going to speed it up here. I remember this bend. I would always be like, whoa, don't go flying off the edge right there. <laughs> oh, great. Whoever filmed this. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> mess, mess my bend up. All right, so we're so here. Um, this is the creek. We just went over the bridge, right? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Yep. Remember that? No. Okay. And whoops, sorry. Whoa, way too far. Um, right here. Let's see. What is this part? I'm like, I'm also, by the way, guys, when you're watching, I'm also halfway in shock that I'm back here on the property. Like, it's kind of like, what? Here, I'm going to rewind this. There we go. Yeah, for real. I would have been in total shock. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is where I, this is where I was raised. <laughs> I thought I was, Like, I hate to say it that her. way, but this is the way, this is where I was raised. Yep. My whole child. I didn't child, have a lot of good unquote, memories childhood. there. <laughs> yeah. And the ones we have where they're so precious mm -hmm. and it's because they're the only ones we have. So here, see, I think we're going over the bridge here, right? Yep. That looks very, yeah. uh, yep. We went over the bridge and now we're going around the bend and we should be going up to, you're right, Janice, look at all those trees. Yep. Yeah. That's because the water source is there. Yep. There's the, the creek. The it desert. follows all the way through. Yeah. So I was telling people would take that some of the parents would hike and walk up the creek. They would just follow the creek line all the way to the front gate. because They know that would lead it to the ranch. So here we are. I think we're pulling up. Yep. To the See that? So now it says, mm -hmm. what does it say? The Saboba Oaks. But still, mm -hmm. it's funny. Gary was saying that Catherine or whoever is trying to deny that this ranch was ever even here for the kids. And it's like, this is the exact same posts and the signs that they use. Like, this is uh, so funny. Probably even here. Let's rewind a bit. Probably even the same. Let's see if the same cactus and everything is still there. You see? Yep. The same cactus is there. Like, it's, it's just like, it's so funny. It's like, okay, try to try. And those trees are still there. The you Like, the rock borders to yeah. your right over here are still here. Like, we did all this. The kids did all this. We had to maintain this for 12, 11 years. And then to and the right, so, so, so to the right would be going to the Camel House, right? Off to your right. Which See, that never didn't did. exist. That this didn't path exist didn't before. exist. We, we no. made this road, yes. We made this road okay. with the tractors and Martin Hobscheid and Casavius Tabiolian and, and all the kids hauling all these rocks. And anyway, so this would be, we would call this the gully or the sports field gully area. To the left, but on my other, I hate that my face is just here the whole time. Um, but to the left is is the goal is the sports field, and then to the right is the Campbell House and the fields where all the see I'm talking about the Campbell House right there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fast forward here. We'll scoot over to here. Ba -ba -da. So now I think we're gonna be driving to the Campbell House, and the roads and everything are different a little bit because so now you, you see where we are. This used to be that, a graveled road, and yeah, this was the gravel road to the Campbell House. And there used to be, and you can still see some of them there, right here all along the side, there used to be walnut trees, pear trees, apple trees. All this whole field used to be full of all kinds of strawberries, vegetables, all these were all these field, fields behind us. I'm going to rewind just a teeny bit. Well, yeah, all these were all full of vegetables, everything we were harvesting and producing. But so this is the Campbell House coming up to the right. And this road was not here, this asphalt right. road. It used to be a gravel road that Kenny Campbellman pulled me down, like out of anger and out of me not listening and whatever. I was just being a child, ignoring his annoying ass. And he fucking pulled me down this gravel. I just remember this. Anyway, so now where this is to the Campbell House. I'm going to speed this up. Does this look familiar, Janice? <laughs> Goes yeah, right but it was. Me. I remember it was a. There was a pathway going from the Happy Valley houses over to the Campbell. But yeah, and you got that's what the, that is here. There, 
but you got there by going to the left. You went to the right on a whole new road where we used to go to the left yeah. and go to the front of Happy Valley. And then there was a path going over to Campbell House. Yeah, yeah this is a new road. Yeah. yeah. And that path would go up to the main house first, right? And then you would take mm -hmm. the long road all the way down to the Campbell House. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, That's this right. Is my passport. I don't know what it means. You're heavy, honey. Yeah. You're so heavy. here we are at the Campbell House. Okay. This is the actual Campbell House. Uh, let's see if this person speeds up. You want to get down? <laughs> they, were, they were even afraid a little bit to show me. They were like, are you sure you want to go in? I was like, yes. They were like, okay. They were like, uh, we try to sage it and stuff. They were saying that. So this is the back side of the. I'm sure all this looks familiar because those rock walls and everything have been there for a long time. Mm-hmm. Like these, it's so me green. these meditation what? things. Now, yeah, this I, was, is I forget the... what years, months. Now it's owned back by the, the Indians there. Back okay. to the original, yeah. So yeah, the here is a lot of talking, so it's very annoying. But uh, it's not annoying. It's good to see the just the um, the fields and all that in the back. There used to be so much. So this is the back of the cottage. I mean, uh, Camel House. I was just talking about the de-weeding and all the irrigation and everything we would have to put in and maintain and these flowers and plants and vines that honeysuckle used to be all over these, you know, all over the, oops, sorry. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. We would take care of yeah. every piece of land. There's little stairs that come down on each ledge of these, um, it's just so crazy that it's all gone. And like these paths used to have be completely no weeds, nothing. Like mm -hmm. we wouldn't be able mm -hmm. to pass inspections unless everything was running properly. And here this, oh, he missed, oops, I missed that. Wow. There's the other side of the ranch. Now someone's asking the relationship of this to the Campbell Soup family. So I found out, I did my research. Do you know, do you know the background? The Campbell house, do this property used to be owned by Campbell Soup. Right. The ranch used to be owned by Campbell Soup and the Campbell House was the main house. And so they still called the Campbell House the Campbell House to this day. Even the even the there was a time before we got it that there was a nurse. It was a nurse like for the nuns. Um, right. And the valley. even. Yeah. And even they still called this house the Campbell House. Right, the Valley of the Singing Lock Nuns. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Look at Janice and her information. So what I'm explaining right here is these apple trees. We planted all these apple trees. You see that they're all lined up and perfectly mm -hmm. in the row. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're still thriving through all this desert heat. I'm sure they don't. I mean, who knows? I don't think they get watered and all that. Anyways, it's just really cool to see that even, even though our work as kids were all covered up and purposely not how it is now, it's just cool to see it here like ha these trees are still growing and they're i think these are pear trees these are either pear trees or walnut trees i remember that i think they're pear trees maybe apple trees i don't know i'm reminiscing on this i haven't seen this stuff in a long time look there's still a sprinkler yeah. in there you can see all the little sprinklers in there yeah yep. look i'm just like the, these were little stumps these were like literally the size of like Oh, and I was picking the tree to see if it was still alive. I was remembering. Remember how you have to pick the skin to see if, if it's still green? If it's green, yeah. Yeah, and so I was like, look, yep. it's still alive. I, rem I was just remembering all these things. All these things come up. I'm like, oh, my God, yep. we had to dig in the hot heat, digging these trenches all around the whole property, putting so irrigation are you, in for everything. Where is this? Just on the road coming up to the main Up to the Campbell House. house. Up okay. to the Campbell House. So there's the oh, Campbell yeah, yeah, House, yeah. and yep, then yep, down yep. right here, yeah. But there used to okay. be all sorts of vegetables, everything here. So yeah. it's so weird to see it as nothing and just whatever this is now, right? Okay, yeah. so now I think we're driving up to the Camel House. I mean, to the main house, right? So we're driving mm -hmm. back to the main house. Right. To the left, maybe this is what you were talking about, Janice. To the left is a, a road that goes all the way to Allen's property or Poppet Flats. Like toward, or not Poppet Flats, or maybe or towards like Idlewild. Yeah. No, I never went. A... I never went back there for that. Okay, okay. So maybe yeah. that was just but me I as wanted... a kid blowing, running away on the other property. She knew every every nook and cranny. I did. Yeah. I really did. I still do. <laughs> when I went back there, I was like, wait. And they were just like, where is she going? I probably looked like a crazy girl. I was like, hold on. I need. I need to see if my initials are still there. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, while we're on the Campbell House, I just want to answer someone's question that yeah, the, yeah. Annie I was re the Annie I was referring to as being kept locked up at the Campbell House, yes, that was Annie Broker, or known as Annie Tidman, Annie Rush, Annie Broker. That's she was the one incredible. that was locked up there for months. She's the one who worked with LRH until the very end. Yeah. And it was before she started the RPF, they had to brainwash her first so that she'd accept doing the RPF. Mm -hmm. I was on the RPF with her. I was always on the RPF. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like <laughs> Amy, I feel like we have very similar and probably you too, Janice. I always felt like I was always in trouble, even though it's like, well, why didn't you kick me out then? Like, why did I have to suffer and leave and do all this work just to leave since you didn't need me so much? <laughs> yeah. I used so to annoying. And why was your attention always on me? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble a lot, but mostly around my birthdays, I'd get in trouble. I had the same thing. I had the same really? thing. Yeah. I always felt like, oh God, I must be getting in trouble. You know why? Because yeah. remember, Nucci, yes. Panuccio yes. would be making the cakes and he, and somehow like, I was so excited. I was at least able to make a cake and that, or to get a cake for my birthday. And it was sugar free. It was the most disgusting cake I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I was Panuccio so made me an authentic Italian tiramisu cake for my birthday, which was the best cake I've ever had. I mean, so he good. was mad wow. at me, I think, a little. He he made really good cakes. That's why I was so mad. I was like, what? <laughs> they gave me a sugar-free cake? This thing he never like He never made me a cake. Oh. Did you but ever go to, to the have... RPF, Janice? <laughs> um, you never went yes, to the RPF. I, I went. Yes, you did? I did. When? I did. After after being locked up for 11 days in 78, I finally, I got a letter from Mary Sue and it convinced me to do the RPF. So I did it. But, wow. Yeah. In, uh, in 78, the RPF wasn't seven years long. And in 78, no. where, where was the RPF? At the Int Ranch? This was in La Quinta before we moved to Gold. Oh, okay. And That's how right. many minutes were you on it? <laughs> I was on there for months. <laughs> Months? I yeah, that's where I did all my OT levels. Wow, I did my OT before, levels on the RPF too. Yeah, before the net at eight, at half, Yeah. Oh well, mine was when when it was net Uh yeah. And I did it at the Int Ranch here, at Happy Valley. So happy. Oh, so yeah. Happy. I did it. I did it at a property we called Monroe out in La Quinta. Oh, that's, that's a funny. whole I never knew. story. Yeah, yeah. We need, I'll we have need to hear it. it one all day. this needs to be on the record. Yep, we're just going to be yep. reminding you, Janice, of your videos of things to bring up. Okay, so I yeah. think here now we're at the top of the main house. This is sorry, guys. So, so sorry <laughs> okay. about all the horrible okay. footage. There's nothing I can do about it, and it's the only footage I have, so it's better than nothing, right? right. Look, like yeah. this is the backside of the moon patio at the main house. Yeah, yeah the back doors to the uh, dining rooms and all that. I don't know if those mm -hmm. were there. I think we built this staircase and everything. Um, sorry. Yeah, I don't remember that. Do you remember? We built all these. I do remember. We built all this. We built the, the barbecue. We built all these rock walls. We planted all these cactuses. So these are probably all going to be things. This whole patio actually on, that I'm on wasn't here. It was, and it's now called, right. it was called the moon patio, but this is all the backs, you know, the, the backside, I'm going to speed this up because this is annoying. Uh, but the behind, this is all, you, I used to climb this wall. Oh my God. We used to see <laughs> who could get the highest up. So this, yeah, the backside of all this is all new. This is the the right side of the main house of the, of the main yeah, big house. So you see this? And that walkway wasn't there. Yep. We put all this in. Even I think this door was put in or it was a cleaning closet at some point. And then, oh, I was trying to get in. That's funny. And the grass was like, wasn't oh, there when I was no, there. No, no. No, and it was gravel. A lot of it was gravel. They did so. You guys did so much, so work. much work. Like, look at look at this picture right here. All the work, everything in here. Like, even all around, even all the way in the back. Even like all these. Yeah, it's just so much work, and to keep it maintained like this. Even building these lamp posts and all this. Like, and then wow. having our musters here every day. And this was our world. I mean, this is so crazy. You must when admit. You you must admit you kids did a very good job. Yeah, we fucking did. We were damn yeah. proud of our work. 
Like look at even the painting of the building. Like we did all of this. Like, yeah. And so so for us, when I was there, it was, it was a dust bowl. The whole thing was just a gravel and dirt dust bowl brown. Like there was nothing green. There were, weren't a lot of trees. Yeah. You know, it was just a dust bowl. I remember, and I'm sure other cadets that come to the in ranch um, also remember thinking like, thinking it was going to be this whole fun place with animals and the in ranch and it's so ethical and theta. And then we came and we were like, I remember thinking in my head, like, this is degrading. Yeah. (laughs) Like, help me. <laughs> and they were like, and you guys are going to make this place upstat. This is going to be the place that you guys were thinking. Uh, yeah. You're going to make it that way. Anyway, so. Um, okay. So, yeah. This is the main house. See, when we were on the RPF, it- we were yeah. bust into the base to do all of our work on the base. Like, we were building LRH's house. You know, we were yeah. doing LRH's studio and stuff on wow. the property. And then we, and then we lived out here. Um, and then the second time I was on the RPF, we lived out here and did our studies out here, but we did all the work on the base. I was an electrician. Wait a minute. When you're saying out here, are you talking about the Campbell house or where the kids were? No. Same yeah. place. The, yeah, the not Campbell the house. I never, I've never been to the Campbell house the whole year. So the I was RPF, there. the RPF the R- were in with the kids? The yeah, kids when there. we were. The kids weren't so what? Oh, let me just oops. What just, year did the I, kids get? I there? try to swoosh that away. Um, 1990, kids, it, 1989 1990. and 1990 is when they all started. 1990 yeah. is when the uh, the earliest kid that I knew had gone to the in ranch was 1990. Right. Okay. 1990. So that was when I was there, and I left in August, and only the older kids were supposed to be there. None of the babies were and toddlers were supposed to be up there yet. Yeah, and I graduated the RPF in 88. And so, and I never went back to Happy Valley after that. Oh, oh, okay. So, yeah. So the RPF was there and then they were moved to the Campbell house and then the kids were all put there. Yeah. Right. But then, no. And then the Campbell house and then there was, and then the Campbell house was always like security and whatever. Right. Um, yeah. And then like must have been four or five years later. So 1996 or seven. 1996, maybe 95, they made the RPF, Gold Int RPF base at the Int Ranch. And yeah, there were RPFers, there were like 60 RPFers constantly, yeah. and I, including Jerome and Lusev and, and, and Mark Yeager digging trenches. I watched them, I yeah. saw them. I literally was yeah. watching that. I was just couldn't believe that. I was like, hmm, I wonder if they're still going to speak at the May 19th event. I remember thinking whatever the next <laughs> event, like, I That's wonder if they're funny. still going to be. I do. I remember thinking It that. was 1996 because in 1996, yeah. my husband at the time, Jim Mortland, got busted and sent to the RPF for four years. And he was at Happy Valley. And um, when I went to go and see him a couple years later, they had all these trailers just for the RPF, like built in or somewhere, you know, brought in. At Happy and that's at where... Ranch, Happy Valley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what they were getting it set up to be at the Ant Ranch. And then this is the old laundry room. We, I don't know. Yeah. We're still just has saying... laundry in it. Yeah. There's still, I'm <laughs> sure they, and up above, oh, sorry, up above right here. Can you see the arrow, by the way, on the screen? I don't know if you yes. guys can see yes. 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 You can. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. So up all above here was a whole orange orchard and everything the kids put in a whole, there's still orange trees. I think we'll go around there in the video later. I'm not sure, but here used to be old storage. This is storage of people who used to, who got kicked off the ranch and their stuff was still here. So they put in here. Security was the only one who had the key to this lock and I would break into it all the time. (laughs) I was like, I want to see this. Okay. The swimming pool. So here, Amy will, will, readjust your mind on this the swimming pool is now up to your left it was up behind me to your left right that's probably where you're thinking it's now a basketball court it's now a basketball court and then the swimming pool later we built was down near where amy's saying off to the left where the maintenance shed and all that is we'll see we'll see we're gonna okay, okay so here we're going to get there. But James. that big pool, the one, the big deep. Yeah. yeah is no the longer there. Pool. Yeah. yeah it was, it's not, it's not. Oh, I can show you a quick picture. Actually, it might interrupt this video, but I'll show you it. Let's get through. I'm going to speed this through. I think it's, I just want people to visually see how the main house looks. Oh, in this exact 
look, I'm like squeezing my... I'm explaining the story of when the kids would get so cold because it gets really cold in the desert in Hemet, as you guys know. Yeah, and it can it get does. really hot and really dry and then really rainy and floody and whatever, right? Um, and we would be freezing cold and at like in the it would be raining or something. We quickly go eat or we'd grab our food from whatever, you know, our plate and whatever was given like we were allowed to have and sometimes finish eating it really quick and then grab our bread and butter and go sit right here in front of me behind the dryer right there behind the dryer where the hot air was coming out and we would be because we just didn't we weren't we didn't have jacket we weren't there like all the time with like a ja closet of jackets and things it was just like we were always cold or our jackets were Nobody. ripped or they were left behind when we were digging in trenches being forced to quickly run into line and don't leave your jacket there you get it later or whatever this so it's like our, it's like our clothes our civilian owned personal clothes were not even available for us when we really needed them like when we were freezing we were borrowing our another cadet's jacket because we didn't know where mine was or whatever you know yeah and so you're so, it's torture so you're trying to survive i mean you know? we don't no we're not thinking it's torture amy you know that but i'm just saying we're thinking like oh good we're not causing anybody problems because we're making a solution by getting warm near the dryers during our, mm -hmm. our dinner time so it's not like we're off schedule either anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I that's how, that's our thought process as a child. That's what we're thinking. Not as a child. I'm gonna tell like, I'm gonna tell oh, you in, one thing just because because I'm thinking about torture and being freezing. As okay. I was on the RPF and it was probably our you know hundredth night up. I don't know. We were just like round the clock, around the clock. The only sleep we got was like on a carpet roll inside this big garage and being eaten alive by mosquitoes, right? Mm -hmm. And um so you know, now, and it's freezing at night, like everything's iced over. It was just that cold. And, um, and I had no place to sleep. And I remember I, I was trying to figure it out, out where to go. And, um, I was, I was just shaking and I just started sobbing because I, I couldn't control it anymore. I was so tired and so cold. And I found, um, a little piece of concrete in an electrical closet. And I just laid on the floor until I woke up. And that's where I fell asleep. But it was it's actual total utter torture. Torture. Yeah. That's all and it is. and the and the fucked up thing is that you're doing it to yourself because you're getting your ethics in. You're getting your own ethics in because you're going like you're kind of even in your upset, or say you're in a, a, a ARC break, or you're being banky, or you or you have a miss withhold, and that's why you have an ARC break, and that's why you're upset. Whatever the fuck, right? So in your yeah. own mind, though, you're trying to process it. Like we're yeah. not just we're not just acting when we're in yeah. the sea org. We're not just like, you know, up, we're going to be off at 6 p.m. So we just have to get through this. This is like our whole mm. lives. So no, no. torture is real torture when you're doing it to yourself at the end, when you're so mad that you don't give a fuck if you're freezing your ass off under an oak tree in the freezing rain in the desert because you don't want them to find you. You would yeah. rather be freezing cold. You're like, well, it's my fault that I ran away. So I deserve to be freezing. And right, so it's right. like you're getting your own ethics in and you're giving yourself your own punishment because you're still brainwashed under Scientology strict policies and rules. Yeah. So even yeah. when you even that's why people are like, well, why don't people just leave? And it's like, I hate that. Question. People do try to leave. They do try to leave. <laughs> they do try to leave. And when you are mentally fighting with yourself, you're not even the, mm -hmm. at lo, you're not. This is why I can't just go and get my mom or go and get my dad. Right. Otherwise, yeah. I would have already done it. Do you know how many people would have already done this by now? Are you kidding me? You guys wake <laughs> up like it's not just like, why didn't you just leave? It's like, no, we were torturing ourselves because we were taught to do that. So yeah. good luck getting somebody out of this. Why don't you just leave? Shut your butt. <laughs> <sighs> you, have, you have to have been there. Yeah, it's really hard to describe the the mind control, you know, situation oh, yeah. that it's intense. It's really intense. And you think that you've committed to saving the planet and any hardship is temporary and yeah. and it'll be over and we'll get through it and whatever, you know. Yeah. Anyway. As yeah, as uh, Larry Wright says, prison of belief. Yes. Yep. It's a per perfect description. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Prison of the mind, prison of belief. Mm -hmm. I love Jenna Hill Miscavige's book. I've always liked her, her yeah. title for her book, Beyond yeah. Belief. You yeah. know, it's just, yes, mm -hmm. beyond belief, because 
it's almost seems, oh yeah, I could see that sort of happening to me and I could see myself, not me, but somebody listening. Yeah. And then they're going, yeah, but it really did happen. Right. Like, I know you're starting to get the image and you're starting to see how it is, but it did happen. Like, this is beyond yeah. belief because it it wouldn't have been okay unless there was major programming and brainwashing mm. purposely being done for this to be okay to any of us in exactly. any of our bright minds, you know? And it's so hard to describe things because, because if we really described exactly how it was, it'd just be beyond belief you 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 wouldn't even understand it and everybody would just reject it and like yeah right you know but it really really was <laughs> like we really didn't sleep and, we really didn't you know and it, uh, it didn't it didn't matter the time period nor the location it was all beyond wherever belief. you were it, yep wherever yeah, yeah. you were that's exactly yeah. what was happening yes i love that you said that yeah. <sighs> okay so let me i want to share um I, should we just, I, I want to finish sharing that video because we were almost yeah. done with it. Yeah. And it's just for visual sake for people um, who are watching. Hold on. Let me exit out on everything else so I don't have to confuse my brain with all of its confusion <laughs> <laughs> anymore. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh yeah, we are here. I'm going to go, I think it was about here. Okay. Yeah. And there's going to be stuff here that you're going to start recognizing. You see? Um, mm -hmm. okay. Where were we? We're here. We're about here. Yeah. So I was talking right in front of the main. So we're in front of the main house. Janice, you still called this the main house, right? When you were there. Yeah. That's the two story house, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and when yes. you say two story, it was still, oh, well, you only use the bottom floor or did you use the second floor? No, we didn't use the second floor. It Isn't was that all rickety. so weird. Well, it was rickety and had to be fixed up. I know, but for the 12 years at the Int Ranch that these kids grew up, this one I'm yeah. speaking of right here in front of us, yeah. um, the, like while I was at the Int Ranch this whole time, they we never fixed above the second floor. It was always supposed to be done and we never did. Oh. And it's probably oh, because wow. the building is so old, it, it would never, it would have to be taken down to be rebuilt to anyways, but that doesn't mean that I wasn't on the second floor all the time and on the roof and all sorts of things. And in fact, that's where I would hide a lot when they, because it was like out of sight, out of mind. When the cadets forgot, oh, you're not allowed on the second floor, you start to forget that it's there. Same with the Campbell house. You're like, oh, I don't know what happens at this Campbell house. So when you go over there, it seems like so mysterious and fun and like, oh, I got permission to be at the Campbell house. You know, it's like weird. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> so weird. Okay. So now, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for being patient with me, but also thank you for just allowing me to show this not so exciting video, but it's more for yeah. the, not for me, like being, being the image in the video, but it's actually for, if, for people watching, they can look around and be like, oh my God, the schoolhouse to the right, which I think you, Janice and Amy, I think we used to call it the RPF dorms. No. Well, down Amy, here, yeah. down so, like, here, right here, here left. Right? Oh, oh, to the motels, kind of? Oh, oh. Oops, sorry. Like right in front of you and up. Whoops. Sorry, fast forward. We wow. Here. Yep, I'm going to fast forward all this. Times 10, times 10. Yes, the tree is alive, Laura. Yes, you did all this. Okay, good. We dug trenches. Then, <laughs> just kidding. I was trying to <laughs> go with the speed of the camera. <laughs> yeah, I never went out there when the RPF was at Happy Valley. Only right. when we were at the camp. At the Campbell house. But you know what's great information, really? Janice, is that is that is that the idea for the RPF base to be there at all is cleared up for us now because it was already the RPF base before the cadets went there. So that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Like that makes sense. Like, why would they put the RPF and the cadets together? You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that yes. clears up a little thing even for the cadets to be like, what the heck? Why did the RPF who chose for the RPF to be like in front of all these cadets watching these execs get fucking demoted and fired from their posts? OK, so, right. yeah, this is the road where we would go up to the right. If you go to the right, it goes to Campbell House and and we did all that. And this is now we're going up to the. Yeah front we did all this so we're driving by the sports field driving up that gravel road it used to be gravel mm -hmm. now it's pavement but up to the big house the main yeah. house and coming up that road but not from the front side from the back side so now okay so i'm fast forwarding all this y'all <laughs> moon patio i'm just going to shout out things for people this is the moon patio the back side is where the, the right side of the main house the front of the main house okay good this is where we were 
All right, fast forward. Doors closed. We built all this stuff. Yes. For all y'all. And then anytime, if you guys are watching, I'm going to slow it down soon so I'm not speeding it through everything. But okay, so like here. Um, at any time, for those watching, you could always pause the video just like I'm doing and you can reminisce and stare and be like, oh my God, I used to jump down from this wall and go run into the playground and blah, blah, blah. Or like here to the right is the was the qual building eventually. Yeah. Uh, it was to over here and then they trans and then on the right. other side is security booth. Yeah. So that that used to be our our 2D night space. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's right in front of you right now. And it this just had one, an old mattress. Yeah. Which, and it just had an here. old mattress in there on the floor. You know, it wasn't like that's some so nice gross. thing at all. Yeah, I bet really, you they had a real. camera in there watching. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Why do you think people are perverted little hidden auditors in Scientology that like to fucking be perverts and feed off other people's stories? Okay, That's anyhow. Horrible. Well, now you're thinking about it. Yeah, because it's right next I mean, to the security they're... booth. So oh, they probably uh, had a hole in they the They definitely booth. did. <laughs> <laughs> if 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 people yeah, they definitely did. Yeah. Anyways. This is the whole mop area where we used to, there used to be a whole dishwashing machine and everything run by all the kids, all the acid, everything we would use. Look at me, I'm reminiscing on little things. Like, look at these sticks. I used to make peace pipes out of this specific type of, wow. It's so weird so watching you... myself go through this as well. Again, like watching yeah. myself and remembering the state of mind I was in. Right, yeah. Because uh, trust me, I have not had, I haven't had as much therapy and everything during all this. I was going through so much hell right now. It was unbelievable. Yeah. So now you can see like, that's the motels. This yeah. is where the, okay, good. Yeah. So those motels, that's where the RPF would, that was like the OT course room, OT co-audit, the regular mm -hmm. co-audit. Paul was on, Paul Grady was on the RPF at the same time with me that he was twinned with Jim Logan. I was twinned with Walter Kotrick. Do you remember that Janice? Yeah, I remember that, but that's where I thought he was out of the Campbell house. No. See, they oh, put them in there. the Campbell house, and then eventually they just made it open for RPF to... I think they were oh. building up the... I think they were as they were building up the rooms and cleaning them up, they started being like, okay. Because eventually the schoolhouse, like even right here, the schoolhouse, that was our yeah. schoolhouse. And Amy yeah. was saying, right behind my head, that's the schoolhouse. And, but, and Amy was saying that that at one time was the birthing for the RPFers, mm -hmm. the left side and the right side, one side was the males and the other was the, the female. Mm -hmm. And the right that when I was at the answer was the was the schoolhouse, like the whole time is either like, you know, the course rooms, that's what they call them. Yeah. And this that I'm pointing at with all the trees in it used to be the playground. And up there right here is the security booth that we were just talking about. Yeah. And then this, this is your <laughs> this is your humping grounds, apparently. <laughs> I only oh, went in I'm... there one time. I think. Wait, I were you that. allowed to hump? I mean, were you allowed to hump? Were you allowed <laughs> to be doing that at like at like in like like you were married, right? Yeah, oh, married yes. people were. Yeah, okay. only if you were Not married, like... and you had to have a gold armband. You had to you had to wear a gold yeah. sock around your arm. You know, <laughs> um, but... that that you were proven to be ethical, and once you were approved to be gold Wait, armband, then you could the have one night, right? Yeah, and then you could have one doing, night with your spouse. They were still doing the bands. They were still do. They had a black band, a yellow band, and a gold band. A I white mean, band, black, white, and a gold. Gold. Yep. I remember that. I rem. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. I remember RPFers running around, and I'd be like, "Oh, they're in ethics trouble." Or one time <laughs> they have a gold band, and a week or two later they would have a black band. I'd be like, "Oh fuck, they got the they got in trouble in the RPF." <laughs> I would know as a cadet, I would be like, uh oh, yeah. like Ken, uh, Kevin Poston, he was on the RPF. He wrote a report on me for flirting with him. I was so, oh, for God's sakes, I was so confused. I was so, I thought he was like more of like a godfather or like a, and then I got a report for 2D flowing him. I can, I can, mm. I can't even tell you how disgusting that feels as a child to even think. I remember getting so mad at him. The next time I saw him, I was so pissed. Yeah. I yeah. was like, you fucking got me in trouble. You're disgusting. I would never do that with you. I was so mad at him. I don't know yeah. why. I don't. Anyways, that was weird. He was okay. dreaming. That's what he was doing. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I have no idea. But I was just like, what yeah. the 
fuck, you asshole. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now, yeah, this used to be a playground. I'm sure people are going, what? They're going, what? Because why are there trees there now? Like, that was so crazy. Anyways, okay. Yeah, that was just all dirt. Yeah, yeah, it was it dirt. Used to, yeah, I'll show you some pictures of once. I'm going to fast forward. This is just good footage. So this, did you have all this, the Mediterranean path and all that? No. No. Okay, so we put all this in as the kids then. Yep. Um, here, let's. We had the drive up to the main house. That that you know, drive every... was there, but it was it was. Uh, that's the first place I landed when I went in 1983. When I arrived to the base as a RPFer, was I where that Jeep is? That's where I was let out. This is your new home. Wow, that's where we mm -hmm. would have literally three. I was going to say, I said in the last episode, a million musters, like not even joking yeah. <laughs> out of the 12, the 11 years that we were there on the in ranch base growing up in our bodies, we had three musters minimum a day right there where that Jeep is in the front. Yeah. But when minimum. I was there, none, none of that grass was there. The rocks weren't there. It was all nope. just no. weeds, weeds and yeah. desert. Yep. So we built and, all and that. The and the parents started coming out and working on cleaning the place up. The and parents, the kid, Janice. The parents. No, not well, the well. Then the kids, the, then the kids started. I guess started to help afterwards. But originally, the parents, every Renos, they went out to on the Saturday, to work right? Out. On Saturdays. Yeah. Yep, I do remember that. I remember being able to work with my mom. Not my mom. I think she was always busy. But my dad. I remember my dad would come out a lot. And that's also how the other cadets and everybody, you get to know you, the other parents and the other, you know, because you're only as a child, imagine you're on, you're at this in ranch base in the middle of nowhere for 12 years of your main childhood life. And it's impossible to not know who, you know, the next cadet is their full name and everything about them. Like yeah. it's impossible to not know, even if you don't like the person, <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially, Okay, maybe I should slow down this video. Is it still? Yeah. See, so they have different signs. So yeah, I'm going to fast forward. Yeah. Okay, let's get through this. I just want people to see this. It's probably interesting for you to see how much work over the years all the yeah. kids have done. Oh, yeah. Done. It's amazing, yeah. amazing like, amounts. And so right here in the front of the motels, they would drop, the bus would come, you know, from the gold base and drop the yeah. parents off um, yeah. before they the fake school bus. So now we're just walking around and in these- My second time- my second time to the RPF, I got dropped right here and Annie Tidman greeted me on the RPF oh. at like four in the morning or something like that. They dropped me off over here. Wow. What year was that? Um, 86, I think. Okay. So you went to the RPF. Or so eight, you were working. Seven. Seven. 87. 87. You came off the RPF and went on as the org officer and worked with me after that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I went to the RPF in 83 and just full-time worked around the clock. We never even did anything else. So, um, but that RPF assignment was canceled and I got all my back pay, believe it or not. And then um, I went into CMO International and then I got assigned to the RPF in 1988 as a RSer, rock slammer. So, <laughs> So in I was 88 at, rock yeah. slammer. I think so it was that, 88. I got off in well, 88, I think, but I was on 88, for about a year and a half. 88 was when I went to the free winds and did the maiden voyage. I remember I, I was probably already and, off the RPF by then. Yeah. Because you were working with me when I yeah. left and did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I must have. Yeah. These are the course rooms or the schoolhouses. They ripped everything apart. Yeah. But they I'm just sure putting did. it in there so you can you can see. Oh, so this There's is the where bed. the are. This is the creek, right? This is where all those rocks, all the rocks, where <laughs> all those rocks come from. Man, you haul them creek. all the way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we were wheelbarrows. That's what these these random photos of cadets like hauling rocks and wheelbarrows. Like I'll show you. I have some coming up with even my dad there, probably on the Saturday Renos or whatever. Wow, I'd like to see that. Yeah, and we were like four, four or five, five years old. So, anyways, I was obsessed with this creek because I knew, I, for some reason, it was like Frida. It was like if I go up or down, I'll be off the property. 
Yeah. So I just was like, I'm going to run away and I would just f go follow the creek. This was my life. It, oh, yeah. Um, okay. So this is, I think, oh, the backside of the motels. Do you remember that? Oops, sorry. I'm going to get through this faster because it's kind of scruffle, scruffle footage. But this is the backside of motels. I'm going to go fast, actually. If there's anything important that comes up, I'll stop it. But I really, this is the goalie. It goes down to the horse corral and all that. I, you guys made this look that. like a park. It was. That's a what I mean. Yeah. When I was That's there. why it drives me crazy when people were like, oh, it's so, but it was so pretty and nice. It was, it's like, oh my God, I could smack all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it it's like why like do this. you think it's so pretty it was in four okay so here's the yeah here we go yeah this was i the, remember these yeah with the yeah. motels yeah so yeah let's just speed back up to that <laughs> how many kids do they have to a motel room 10 10 kids per room yeah eight to ten so there would be uh like 10 bunk but three until the fire department came and said that they we can't have three bunk beds um because it was stacked all the way up to the ceiling yeah wow <laughs> and then so then but then when they left they still put they put they put one back in in every room i'm sure they did they did a lot of things when people left so oh, now yeah. we're here we go now we're this is the courtyard <clears throat> and the motels yeah yeah I can't believe I'm back here. This is so crazy. I know. My younger self is going, nice try, you freaking abuser mind controllers. I'm back here as an adult, just like I thought when I was a kid, that I was going to be back here and I would have my life as a, not under control, but at least my own life. It would be my decisions and what I'm doing. And look, here yeah. I am. These look nothing like this. They were not all night. They were all, I'll, no. I'll show you pictures of the dorms. Let's speed through this. But, um, yeah, I was just telling them how it was. And I was like, nope, there used to be eight beds stacked up here and, you know, none of this. And the walls were the same, though. Same weird piss yellow vanilla weird color and popcorn. They still had the popcorn ceilings. <laughs> this is another dorm room 13. I remember this one. So what do they use that for now? Um, just renting out for games or schools or people who want to come camp out or whatever. But uh, you have to, it has to be, yeah, you have to like reserve it and all that. You have to get approval. So that from was the, the co-audit. I think that was the co-audit space. Oh, probably. Yeah. Because it was a big kind of open space. Yeah. Oh, off the, off the, um, the motel rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, it was I in the middle the, of the U or whatever of the motel mm -hmm. Yeah, We when called it the lounge. There, when I was there, I think the kids used to eat there because right next to that was yeah, where we the did. kitchen we was. Did. Yep, we did used to eat there. I forgot about that, Janice. We did used to eat there. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> I forgot that before the big house, we used to eat in the lounge. It used to be the dining room. It used to be the, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this is yeah. the schoolhouse, right? So this is the left side was probably your... RPF Amy, right? Wow, you have video of this too? Isn't this crazy? I, yeah, I was yeah. just trying to get whatever I could. And and trust me, if I didn't know the documentary that this was for, wasn't going to release, release all the information that I... Well, you, you are now, so... Yep, now I am. At least I have some stuff. So we would go up this hill to go up to Qual to get our e-meter checks from Leslie Epstein, who would be smoking 10 packs of cigarettes. And that's where the pool is up there. Mm. Right. That's where it was, but now it's turned into a huge basketball. Yeah, you've seen it. Ten packs now, of cigarettes. Why were you getting <laughs> needed checks? We were passing our courses, or we if if um oh. we had an ARC break or something, then we could go get a quick session from Leslie, from Leslie. Epstein, who would smoke cigarettes and tell us our needle is finally floating. <laughs> I would think about Elvis Presley or something like that to get my needle. <laughs> you know what's so <laughs> fucked up? I would think of my mom's smile until oh. until she started auditing me. And then I was like, oh, I got to find something else. This doesn't make me happy <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so the, do you, this why? Oh, do you see the fire? Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's that's all the fire. New. That's a big fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> I just. To be here and to be under like. 
Oh, you know what I was explaining right there? I'm sure you guys had to do this a million times. The tarping, cover all the tarping. You couldn't let any of the mulch pop out of the tarp. What? Oh, right. Remember that? Do you remember yeah. that? Look you at, would like, put that down as like a nope. vapor barrier thing. Boom. Yeah, it would stop the weeds from. We put this mulch and this plastic and this tarp in. They stand that gravel right. behind us. We put all of this in. So I was just like, our kid hands were on. We laid down this tarp, and wow. and the tarp that this mulch is on. Like this is yeah. like, the, yeah, it's so crazy that it's still here. And there's certain things that the kids built. Our DNA is all over this property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All yeah. over many, this property. How Everyone many of is a school? Uh, well, what school, Janice? Was it auditing, course, or no, regular? You were, you, were, you were supposed to be doing reading, writing, and arithmetic. Two hours a day, right? Um, or more. It was supposed was it to be three supposed oh, okay. to be three that's we what doing, i had we were had doing three hours a day yeah well we did uh it was two and a half hours of study it was either uh uh you could part of the morning or part i think they they changed it constantly but it was within that two and a half hours you would do an hour or two hours of scientology studies or whatever your ethics conditions were or whoever was telling you to do what basically or you would um, be doing your math book or whatever. But the intention, like they give you the math books. They were there. They were check sheets for us to get through the math books. We were graded by the one teacher who probably had any sort of GED or any sort of credentials, Ann Weber, who was also a parent of Ben Weber, uh, one uh -huh. of the kids at the Int Ranch. Um and she was grading all these things and, you know, and it was just like, eventually, if you either got, you turned 18, they'd ship you off to gold to go get on post. Or if you got your GED, you could go. And so they were just trying to get you to learn enough to get your GED to go, to be able to go on post at gold so that you were legal. I never got my GED. Yeah, neither, neither did, did I. I. <laughs> neither did I. So none of that ever happened. <laughs> so it's all bullshit, which is exactly my point. That's like what I'm getting to. Oh, I want to just rewind this. I remember many memories running up this as fast as I could because I didn't want to be late for the muster from the motels running up to the front of the schoolhouse right here where we would muster um, at the early morning, 6.30, because if you were late, they would dump cold water on your head in front of everybody. What? Yeah, <gasps> yeah. Now, and who was that? Was that adults? Was that adults? Or was it, that was it was adults. It was adults. And then the other older cadets or children were uh taught how to do it and then enforced it on us so we were so ben weber one time was the co cadets enforcing this dumping water on zachary ellis's head you know yeah that's Disgusting. a good point yeah. Janice. no that's a good point it was the adults at first and then the adults the yeah. cadets would start doing it to everybody else it would just be the enforced thing to do so yeah, yeah. Just, that's just a quick memory i also remember doing a cine gold photo shoot here with ben weber again where or nate somebody was either ben weber or alex nunn or somebody and they were pretending to fall off a bike and they got hurt and so they had to do the blood and make it look like you know they were doing it for the scientology handbook yeah yeah so that's i remember that, that. all done here yeah I, I remember so we that. We planted that all picture. these amazing trees. Uh, all these the whole place wood looks trees. like a park. Yeah, it's just crazy, right? It's like how <laughs> you lived in paradise. What are you complaining about, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, where's my Where's my foxy teeth? <sighs> all right, I'm gonna fast forward this. There's the fire pit. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> I forgot that I did a whole speech in front of these people. <laughs> that's so weird oh I while forgot. you were there yeah i forgot a lot I, I mean i was probably just so in my head yeah i i talked to that's so crazy i forgot about all this yeah so we were oh i was explaining when we were standing at attention at muster here one time and when the indians started shooting and one of the bullets <laughs> went bing and like bounced off the side and then at first, because they were first saying, like, get your TRs in. Stop moving around. You guys should, you know. And because the gunshots were like, boom, like really loud. Get your like, TRs they never, in. They never yeah, came they were, down that far. Like, look, there's, look, there's a shot. camera right here. Do you see this, guys? Right behind my yeah. head. Yeah. 
There's a yep. camera right there. There was security cameras wherever security needed to be able to see. There was a security camera that was able to see almost every single part of the property all the time. Probably inside your little kid dorms too, I oh, bet. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just putting it there. <laughs> Like you did at my shack. <laughs> In your 2D shack where you were humping. My, sh my shack were... up shack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, we're dear. going through this. This is the, oh, we planted all, I keep calling, I was calling them oleanders in all the other videos. And I kept being, and we planted those oleanders. They're not oleanders, they're bougainvilleas. I don't know why. Oh, I yeah. Saying that. I love but bougainvilleas. I love them. So they're so beautiful. They're so yeah, mystical. So beautiful. And they would mm -hmm. grow over, we put PVC piping and mesh. So they grew over really nicely. Uh, mm -hmm. which I think you'll see in later photos. I'm about to show. And then we're going to, we'll close it off soon, right? After this and, and check in on comments. I don't want to keep you rock stars behind on anything. I'll be right back. Okay. Keep going. So I yeah, here's, you. okay. So here, yeah, I just, I'm showing more of the motels and whatever is on this footage, just so people can enjoy and remember their memories. <laughs> I feel like I should go slower on this. I should mute Janice. This, this whole area was a hundred percent RPF. And that's where wow. I, I read the OT3 materials for my first time, right to your left. Wow. Right there. There's a room Wait, in there. And right here, the lounge, right? Or you mean in the dorm? In the dorm. So it this was, is that was, lounge area. Yeah. That was the main co-audit, but then okay, the good. dorm. And that's that so funny. I live here. At. Yeah, oh my wait, God. Wait, wait. I lived that in room. Do it was in room. It was nine and ten. They were connected. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Their dorms are nine. There. I mean, you could change the numbers, so it didn't matter. But yeah. I was in that dorm. That's where I wrote a lot of all of my OWs up. Just kidding. All of the Alberts yeah. that were here. Let's speed through this. I want to go back. And when to I that. finally, when I finally got on to Ned Pro T's, which is OT five, which yeah. you have to get through if you're called if you're labeled an RSer. A rock slammer. I can't believe yeah. that. You yeah. need to make yeah. you need to make uh you need to make golden rod rock slammer freaking merch for Amy right? Scobie. Yeah, rock slammer B shirts and shit. I mean, I need to do that. I'm I'm doing that. I'm gonna have Laura FM rock slammer. <laughs> but we on my channel, we rock slam the like button. Yeah, yeah. I was just Which everybody that. should be rock slamming the like button right now. Um, but what I was going to say is when you get on that level, when you get up to OT5, you get to see what it is that you're rock slamming about because you're going to address it with the OT5 materials to basically find what little beings are attached to you that are causing this problem. Anyway, um, when I saw my folder and what, what it was, it was Jana Dare wrote a note in my folder saying, opinion, she's thinking about LRH. You know, which I wasn't opinion. thinking about LRH. Yeah. Literally in block letters, opinion. She's thinking about LRH. Man, I've if I if I didn't just do all of my OT levels, I would have been so pissed. But by that time it was just like I was nearly done with my program. I'm you know, but uh I don't I really didn't trust that lady. I can tell you that what no I didn't right now. I didn't either. Mm -mm. I agree mm -mm. with you. Yeah. That's so annoying. Yep. Yeah. Yep, these are okay. I think we're almost done with this video. Oh, I I was uh, remember the this big goalie dip that would always be full of like. Do you remember this? This is oh by the way, remember that story I was just telling you about being oh sorry freezing cold under the oak tree. Yeah. yeah. And punishing myself for it. That's what I was doing right over here. Sorry, it's hard to not go back too much or too little. So it's like the rewind, rewind. Okay, so. I was freezing cold under, uh, it's probably not going to show up. Yeah. So there's right here, there's this oak tree down here in the gully. There's, a, it's really big. You probably can't see it because of the light, but I would be under that oak tree anyways. You and know, then to the right. Look over there. Cause we never even went back there, even exactly. though, you know, I was yeah. just hiding and everybody was running by me with their radios and flashlights. And I was just <laughs> freezing cold in the pitch black. Like, I can't imagine like looking at myself. I wish I could. I mean, I just, I, that's, in my mind, I can see myself. I mean, there's rattlesnakes being, everywhere out there. Yeah. I definitely was always on the lookout for that, too. Isn't that did weird? Any like, of naturally, the kids, as a kid. Did mm -hmm. any of the kids have any problems with the rattlesnakes? No, we were 
we were we had a very high confront Janice and we were able to kill them with a shovel, rip their tail off, send it to the security gold base to get ten dollars because ten dollars oh, was more okay. money, more money. Than, no, Janice, that wasn't it. That's like so insane that kids were killing rattlesnakes and doing that. That's so insane. Security told us, oh, if we if we find a rattlesnake, then we should kill it and we should um Send the tail in. And, and if we if we yeah. send the tail in, then we get ten dollars from security. <laughs> That's yep. so crazy. So up here yeah. there's a big mountain right behind me, this Z mountain. We called it the Z mountain because there's a path that you can go to the top here. And at the very top, there's a camera that can look and zoom in anywhere on the whole property of the internet. Oh. So that's one I had to avoid constantly. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so I, I I never knew they had that out there. Yeah. Okay, so then this is the way back. I think this is when we yep. are leaving. Cool. So we'll leave it at that, leaving at that. And then I'm going to show you some of the basketball pictures and stuff of the basketball court currently. Yeah, yeah. the old swimming pool. Yep. yep. So they Oh, here's some more older <laughs> dangerous wildlife parents do not leave children unattended. I thought oh, that was that's so funny. funny. I fucking I you should were... pause and print that yeah <laughs> this is me that should be a t-shirt right <laughs> yeah yeah right there just it should just be wait where is that uh this should be a t-shirt with me standing yeah. just nicely Daniel, in the parents do not leave children unattended right yeah, by the that's a, per that, that's the a main perfect house. shot yeah. right yep, right yep, by the main yep. house look at that do a, Boom. do a screenshot right there yeah. Yeah. That needs to be like on a mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> right behind the kids. That's so funny. <laughs> right behind the main house. Everybody on this property knows what that main house is. Now do it with you in there. Yeah. Too. Right. And action. Boom. Now. There, yes. There. Save that That's one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. We say that. Okay. Good. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys getting through that video. See, it was a two hour video that we quickly schmoofed up into all of that. Yeah. So let yeah, me quickly awesome. show you before we get to end. And thank you again for slamming that like button just once. Because you don't want to slamming. Yeah. Rock slam. <laughs> um uh, Slam it, so baby. leave your questions. I see many questions here. Thank you guys for sticking in with us freaking strong ass little rocker golden <laughs> rotters. Um, <laughs> if you can't leave a fun message, a uh, fun, uh, super chat or whatever question, go ahead and just put, uh, in caps question so that I can, when we scroll down, it's very easy. Um, in the meantime, let me quickly show you this last few photos. Uh, yeah. while we have you Janice. Just kidding. Yeah. Janice is busy bee. Um, I wanted to specifically show you. Just so you see, it's in the other episodes, but I wanted to show you the basketball court that you keep thinking is a pool. Well, it was a swimming pool and it was compared to a basketball court. But, but the pool was never, never, never had water on it. No, it would never have. It was just a concrete shell, really crude concrete shell, square box. Um. Now that I want to find it, and I labeled it too. I was like, okay, basketball court. <laughs> nope, can't find it. Okay, is it this? Oh, here it is. Okay, Janice, this is for you. We had this in okay. the other episode, but I want you to see what your definition of the pool is. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. They filled it in. They filled it in. Yeah, that's what I think is that that it was yeah, filled in, but Jackson said no, it just in. yeah, because Jackson totally was like no, because it was deep. It was look at yeah, all was, of this is filled in. If you go, if you was, like, well, you could still walk to the edge, and there's a cliff that goes down to the schoolhouse that or where yeah, you know, but so there's still this ledge. There's still this it was deep a, ledge. An Olympics. It was an Olympic size swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, and it was yeah, it was deep. Super deep. Yes. And yes. now it's level with the ground. I thought it was filled in. Jackson said, no, we just oh, took really? the walls off. But that doesn't make sense to me. I can't no, figure it out. No, it's it got to be filled, it in, filled in with dirt. In. It, yeah. it was in yeah. the ground. 
Yeah. 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 It must mm-hmm. have been like all of this, right? Yeah, like it was. It's an it Olympic was huge. Yes. Swimming pool. Yeah. yeah. So yes. this ended up being our qual where Leslie Epstein would be smoking. Would smoke. Oh, that was the tool shed or something like that. The yeah. Isn't shed. that yeah. funny? And we yeah. moved the tool shed down here that goes down this path down there. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that, cool. that is, it is filled in. They just bulldozed yeah. some dirt in there. Yep. 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 Okay. I wanted to definitely show you that, but is there any other, mm-hmm. any other photos of something Janice that you know of that you um, like, uh, I was going to say how you saw the main house. I want to see what yeah, other. No, there's, no, I don't think so. I, the swimming pool was the biggest thing to me. Having been a swimmer, I looked forward to that pool being fixed up and used. Yeah. Yeah. Inst- yeah. But did you say they built a swimming pool? Do you have a picture of that? Yeah. Um, well, I have a picture of the PR photos that they have on the site that says, no, what are they talking about? The ranch was so great. Look. And it's actually a picture of my sister by the swimming pool, which is so funny. And I'm like, that's my sister. And look at how burnt our skin and shit are were when because we were it was like a reward after Saturday's renos. Like you're allowed to go to the pool if you finish your fucking target. Uh pisses me off okay where's that photo (laughs) i want to show that photo because it's just ridiculous how they're like yeah look at how great our uh but now they're denying it altogether Mm -hmm. that they didn't that's why i'm saying good luck they they're gonna have to change that we we only have a million much evidence photos what a bunch of stupid idiots yeah that's the playground there's the basketball court sorry i'm gonna shuffle through this and then I'm going to do one episode. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to find it. It's fine. We'll save it for another one. Whoop. I'll do it on the next episode where I'm just showing okay. photos and talking where I'm either by myself or whatever, because you guys are amazing. There's a lot of questions and I'm trying to be more on top of, you know, an hour and a half is an hour and a half. Laura, Megan Anderson. <laughs> You're learning. Learning and loving with you. You. <laughs> You know, that song's totally stuck in my head like a earworm. Good. I love it it That's is. What it is. Crazy. Don't know much <laughs> about the keys in music. Okay, so first <laughs> let's do the starred ones. Thank you guys so much for um, for sticking in, sticking long, and listening to these stories. Because they could be, unless you're like on top of it and understand what we, we are all talking about and what we're going through, it could seem a little like, okay, what's the point? It's like, no, nah, this is a lot of healing for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And it's good yeah, it even was... for us to have this shit on the record. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to read this one? You, you sure. want to y'all Me? read this? So Joni Cummings says, you three ladies are kicking ass and taking your lives back by figuring out your lives and talking about it. Love you three. Yeah, it's very true. I mean, that, that there's so much history. That's that beautiful park was not always like that. (laughs) It was a dry (laughs) desert with a couple of overgrown weeded cactus gardens. (laughs) That's right. With prickly pears, yeah. lots of prickly pears. I'll tell you one quick story. Um, there used to be a dump there um, that was our own dump. And it was like galley garbage for a year or something like that. It was just a mound of sloshy, maggot-filled, gross garbage. And I was given the task as an RPF's RPF member um, of flinging these bags of loose garbage up into the dump truck to get it out to the city dump. So me and two other people that were on the RPS RPF. Anyway, as we were flinging it, the bags were breaking (laughs) open. We're standing in maggots. Maggot juice is just flying over onto my face. And I'm like, what did I do to deserve this? (laughs) Really? Like what? It does it get any worse than this. Does it get any worse? Who I has think, to do this job? What did you do to pull it did, in? Oh my did god! You, I, I'm like on my also, time track, I'm trying to figure it out. I started in Scientology at 14. It wasn't like I had a lot of, you know, <laughs> crimes that I committed. You know, oh so like god. I must have been really bad on the whole track sometime. You know, oh is now god. is that worse? Is that worse than scrubbing a dumpster with a tooth toothbrush? 
Or digging up a septic, a live wet septic tank and white gloving it. There's a point. Right. There's a, there's a point where you start to m- become one with the maggot. And you say, if I, if I am as low as you and we are in this together, we are then, in this together. then I have compassion I, for you, Megan. Start, yeah. You start to go like, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I got to kick you off of this uh, little grind you're rubbing on, but I ain't, I ain't going to get a white glove inspection if you're hanging out here. <laughs> oh, Amy. So this one says, um, OBG Foster, it says, Amy, another Amy here. Hi, Amy. Hi, so Amy. sorry about your, <laughs> my aunt. So I, nothing happened to my aunt. It was my dad that passed a couple days ago. It says, I buried my aunt last week and thought of all the disconnected families in Scientology. COS means cult of Scientology. I like that. Uh, yeah, we were with her. One. That's a good yeah. one. Love that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start doing mm-hmm. that. Yeah. So when I read it, I just say cult of Scientology. Uh, We were with her in her final moments and it should be as it should be for everyone. I agree. It really should be, you know, I wasn't with my dad, but I spent, I did go up there, you know, like three times in the last several months to see him. So um, anyway, yeah, thank you for that. And I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, I am too. That's crazy. And it's so difficult even when somebody like my uncle passed away in the Sea Org, he was a senior has int. And it's so difficult to Same. have this unopened, like, untalked about fucking thing. It's so like, when do I get to heal this with my family? When do I get to do that? Mm. How do I do that with Scientology technology? How the fuck do Never. I do that? There's no, exactly. give. you know, for all the ways that they're like, oh, you know, you could be a murderer. You could get do this and get auditing and we can clear it up. How about just one of those people you call SPs? How come you can't clarify a conversation, a communication cycle with them? How come my father, who you have on a post that is supposed to get people into Scientology that have ARC breaks, can't even get their own daughter into fucking Scientology after being in it her whole life? Like, there's so yeah. many things where even a cult like this takes takes the thought process and the love and the compassion and the empathy out of a parent's soul to make these insane decisions. So if you think we're crazy talking about this and you think this is beyond belief, imagine the reality of what is actually going on right now in the Sea Org and how hard these parents are being so psychotically abused for, for things that are completely okay. Things that are not, not okay. Like they're being Mm -hmm. abused. They're abusing themselves because of the insane abuse that they are given on a daily basis. Two, two, yeah. two. Like the ethics book is all about how do you how do you get a grip on your own ethics so somebody else doesn't have to do it for you. Mm-hmm. What what are they doing with the kids now? I know. Do we know they're Does making them join know? the Sea Org. They're they're getting them. They have no. parents coming in. Young. Oh, you. They have some. But, there's they're 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 they've gotten so many lawsuits and so much bad stuff because of the cadet orgs and the children's groups, but. They're saying they're not doing them anymore, but they still have the quality in that has kids in there that are waiting to be old enough to join the Sea Org. That's the same exact manipulation that you would that be doing with same. children. You're still eventually going to have that person in the same m- mindset and the same. Yeah. Scientology should be illegal for people under the age of 18 because it yeah. then becomes manipulated by the parent or somebody mm-hmm. trying to get them to do something in their lives for the rest of their lives that maybe they don't ever even want it to be a part of. Right. Yeah. It should be just it, you're like right. it should be like alcohol. Like, no, I don't want a sip of that fucking poison. Yeah, if right. I do, I'll do it myself. Thank yeah. You and you're much. of age to make that decision. Right. For real. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay, sorry. It should be Woo. illegal. It should be illegal, period. <laughs> you're right. But L. Ron Hubbard should be illegal because yeah. he decided to make instead of making beautiful, loving information knowledgeable that will help humans on this planet, he converted it into something where if he wasn't getting what he wanted, I'm gonna fucking do this. This is how it's gonna yeah. be. You're kicked off the ship. It's my mm-hmm. way or the highway. Look at David Miscavige. It's like it doesn't matter if oh, you yeah. David Miscavige changed L. Ron Hubbard's way of policies as well. And look at his yeah. behavior. Every behavior of it is manipulative. L. Ron Hubbard wrote these things to manipulate people's mind and psychology. 
It was yep. to get a hold of their information, whether to yeah. help them or not. But they were eventually going to be under the control of L. Ron Hubbard's do or don'ts. Yep. Yeah, I, I lived that. I I know all about that. Yeah. Um, but so do people not have kids anymore or? Yeah, you're not allowed to have kids in the Sea Org. And if you're in the Sea well, Org I and you're that, married, then they, you get a, you get heavy in. pressure. Yeah, well, what they're doing is I think they had to be 12 or something, right? Yeah, 12. I mean, okay. well, it depends. Yeah. That's so gross, but that, that's so gross. Why would it? <laughs> wait, let me. I know we're laughing about this, but why? I don't even have kids yet and maybe never will. But if I had a 12 year old daughter, I would never want her to be knowing at 12 years old that I'm ready to join the Sea Org. You're not fucking ready to join the Sea Org no. at 12 years old. Mm -mm. You're not. And and the I, only way you would think that is if you've been in, you've been literally being uh, g raised, groomed by your own parents, your own family, your own friends, your own adopted whoever's yeah, to be doing that. That's the only way a 12 year old would ever be interested in Scientology. Yeah. Is if I they were joined, already born into it. Yep. Yeah. I joined at 11 years old and in order to stay on the ship and wait for my mother i had to sign a billion year contract otherwise it was like i had i had nowhere to go yeah <laughs> and it's uh, kidnapping oh wait yeah so, so a billion year contract is absolutely normal to give a, an 11 or 12 year old that's mm -hmm. a normal thing especially in the 60s that's or whatever 70s right that's totally normal yeah. the 50s no yeah. <laughs> 60s Just kidding late 60s <laughs> amy <laughs> i thought amy was the sweet little lovey cutie but she's she has these she has these strong little <laughs> she's like a older little funny amazing little me and your janice go it. back a long ways and she's older than me <laughs> i know that's why she's, we, getting, she's like do. knock it off amy <laughs> <laughs> no, it's knock it off, Lara. <laughs> Lara, knock it off. You're third partying. <laughs> oh, You're creating this argument. Yes. Uh, okay, so I'm just running down. Um, oh, so he's eating rice and beans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this. How is my favorite community? Look, see, mm -hmm. you can't make this shit up, right? Right, Susie Q? For yeah. God's sakes. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Native American or indigenous? They are not Indians. And yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Somebody mentioned, oh, I mentioned the German reporters. Some of these German docs are great. Yeah. They should be more known in the U.S. Yeah. So there was definitely, mm -hmm. there was a, definitely a thing about German reporters flying over the Int Ranch, like going over the base, trying they to get. They were looking for a Vibka. Literally. No. Yeah. 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 And Looking they were what? Vipka, Vipka Hansen. She was missing from Germany. Oh, she oh, went okay. to to an event. I know what happened. She went to an event um, to get acknowledged for her organization in Hamburg becoming, you know, with the best statistics, right? And it came up that her statistics were false, and they made them up. So she was sent to the rehabilitation project course, but she wasn't a Sea Org member. Oh. So they made her join the Sea Org, even though she wasn't qualified, and. Um, and then she went to the RPF and twinned with Mark Yeager. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy, Mark Yeager? And they're like trying to hide. And so the reporters are flying over. Not only, I think they were flying over to find her, but they were also flying over to get information on, on the normal abuses and things like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is this hap yeah. happy valley? <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody says, am I understanding correctly that Scientology has their BS buildings on native lands or reservation lands? On so as a child growing up on Indian reservation, that's what we were. That's what it was called to us, and it still is that. I'm on Indian reservation. Native Indian reservations are the exact the people that I'm talking about are the natives that are on their property and on their reservation. There is no racism here. This is a child speaking about her life and her upbringing, the way that she was raised on these lands. Yes, Scientology well, manipulate. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jenna. Well, I was going to say my understanding was the you had to go through the reservation to get to the private property. A hundred percent. Oh, it, you're, it was, you're clarifying not, this. Yeah. 
it was not on the reservation, but you couldn't get to it without going through the reservation. But, and you got to remember. But in, the reservation was those, owned by is it, we bought. Right. So the ranch, the ranch that the property, the property, the ranch is on is on Indian reservation land. Not that I was aware of. You had to go through it, but. I'm, I, I'm, I would, I would I, well, see, this is a good question, Don. Yeah, good question. So, um, but, but I, from I, what I understood, know. yeah, I always understood it. You had to just go through the reservation to get onto the private property. It was not on the reservation, but you couldn't get to it without going through the reservation. And let me also, just to clarify, Native or Indigenous or whatever, back in the 70s and 80s when we purchased that land and the reservation was there and the Saboba Hot Springs uh, Country Club was there, in those days it was referred to as Indian. The, the indigenous or native or whatever, that all came up later. So we're talking about, we're not trying to insult anyone. It's just the lingo that was used at the time. And also, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, we're done with this, but I am talking about the Indian, the native Indians on their property. Right. So, so yeah. don't throw words into my mouth and do not throw anything up here. That's not is, but I do love this question. And Don, thank you so much. Um, here, boom. Didn't one of y'all SPTV posters once say something about the Campbell house having some relation to the Campbell suit family, or did I dream that? <laughs> yes. I think we cleared that up right in the, in yeah, the, I think we picked that that one up on the yes. So the Campbell House did own for a little bit of time that the rant that whole property, which yep. we call Happy Valley, the Ant Ranch, any of that. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to thank you, Goldie. Yes, you are the most awesome moderator. I love the extra information you give. It's great. You're awesome. And thank you for being here and jumping on anytime you can. You're you're fantastic. Thanks for answering. Fantastic. I think I remember someone probably Janet mentioning before about the suit connection and the run yeah mm -hmm. yeah that yeah, was you yeah well and it probably was a mixture of something you told me that i was like oh, i brought the gaps together <laughs> now it makes sense uh the singing what did you say the singing no <laughs> the, va the valley of the singing locks i mean look at me i am the valley of the singing locks <laughs> 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 Look what I turned out to be. Ah, oh, so fun. Uh Kaz says, I grew up Catholic. This place sounds like a perfect secluded place for a cloistered monastery. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I guess could be a cult. Cult yeah. of Scientology sure turned it into a cult nightmare. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's for sure. Day. Yeah, they know how to out do of that sight, well. out of mind. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody nobody could see anything going on out there. And yes, thank you for this too. The footage is amazing. I'm glad Laura could get it taken. People need to mm -hmm. know how it totally that built and maintained it. Yep. Oh yeah. yes, Sandy Yerkin's powers. Look, she made this outfit. Oh, how she made it, huh? Isn't that great? Yeah, it fits I love it. perfect. It's so sweet and cute. And she made all these like such, you know, like these could be little cute shoulder kind of lace gloves or whatever you know just sort of my 80s 90s vibe and then she made like okay can i just show you guys sorry <laughs> let me yes. just show you i think these are just so incredible look at the detail wow, wow. what are those like leggings? they're like little rosy flat they're like little um rose like almost like goldenrod marigolds you know but yeah. anyways they're like awesome oh. amazing glove things that's fun. So when I'm singing with my microphone, so you got to change it up every once in a while, right? Isn't that yeah. so cool? That's like, look great. at how all of a sudden yeah. fancy I look. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> that is so fun. Anyways, I really singing. love it. Thank you so much. I'm going to call you Powers. Thank you, Powers. You're amazing. I can't wait to send you back a cute little gift that inspired me. And I'm going to definitely be wearing all these, these gloves are definitely popping up in all of my little video things now. So thank you so much. <laughs> gotta, gotta make sure. Look at like, look at how cute these are. They're just like, cute, know, but like even this cute little design that makes it like elegant on the hand. Yeah. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. And the little ruffles Very at cute. the end. I don't know. Whatever. Some, something I could never do. 
Yeah, me either. Yeah, I don't have the patience for this. I I knitted. I've I've never crocheted, but I knitted when I was nine years old, and I made myself a sweater, and I couldn't get it over my head. (laughs) (laughs) And then what did you do with it? I threw it away, and I made myself a new sweater, and. It fit, but I couldn't get my arms in. <laughs> so I gave, so up, then... I gave up knitting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that's I never so had time. Me didn't question with all these fruit trees, et cetera, was any of the fruit and veggies distributed to Sea Org LA, if not what? Yeah. So, Don, what happened is the reason actually we started building a whole farm and produ- like produce out there and the trees and all this organic stuff was to feed. It was supposed to eventually be that the the ranch cadets were going to supply majority or all of the healthy organic vegetables and foods to the gold base and to the int execs. And it was so, part of the program called self-sufficiency program. Right. Where they don't have to use the world, the outside world mm-hmm. for anything. So yeah. part of that, they were like, great, let's get these fields pumping. And and so we were growing all of this stuff for them. So no, yeah. I mean, yeah, we were able to enjoy little bits of it while we were sneaking it from the trees while we we're going, because, you know, we're like, oh, we're only going to have a 15 minute lunch break. So I better get some of these pears and carrots in my system now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm studentable. Anyway, so yeah. Um, and then we would also ship, uh, ship like pig, uh, the, we had a provender truck, like a pretty big, decent size, um, uh, I think it was like a Chevy or whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. A big truck um, that w- we loaded bins and bins of all this stuff, the lettuce, the pears, the whatever. And they would go to the gold base and and then a big run would be shipped down to Celebrity Center uh, for all the fancy whoever's down there. That's where all of this stuff was going or yeah. tended to go. Yeah. Um, hmm. Her show your butt. <laughs> yep, y'all can shut your butts and your f bomb comments. Beep. <laughs> Under that with the middle breaks. Okay, great. It would be, it would fit. Yeah. So now they're just chit chatting about all the oogala boogas of why this would even be a functional thing for any kind of child to be out there. Oh, they could, they could haul around all those rocks, but not a few pieces of wood. <laughs> Yeah. As a never in, I can understand it. <laughs> I never know what it was truly like. Yeah. Do you, you yeah. guys can read that, right? Yeah. 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 But because you guys are also here, that's what's also so awesome and amazing. Yeah. Like, because you're also the supportive and like, it's so supportive for us to even have five people listening to us. So it's so fun. It's so healing. It's so, and yes, we laugh and we joke and we cuss and we swear. Why wouldn't we? Hello, this is us. This is our lives. We're not here like, and now we are acting and, and action and Janice, what would you like to say? (laughs) It's like, no. (sighs) Mm. Right there. Oh, uh, Don also asked question. Laura, you say we quite often. Is the we all the children and how many and how old? Yes, exactly. Uh, it's all the kids. That's all I'm talking about. We meaning because there was nobody at the Ant Ranch unless unless you were a uh, an adult that was once a child at the Ant Ranch who was old enough now to be an adult at the Ant Ranch. That's why you were there. Otherwise you were underage and you were a cadet at the Ant Ranch. That's so everybody working at the Ant Ant Ranch was a child. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Janice, your little family is just so precious. It's so (laughs) cute. She got to have kids and a granddaughter. It's amazing. I left. I was pregnant when I left. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I saw what was happening at the ranch and I'm like, I'm not staying, I'm not raising my kids in this. That's so crazy. Do you want me to read this one? Yeah. So Kaz says, I'm sure y'all covered this a million times, but were y'all evacuated or for mudslides or floods? Um, never at the Happy Valley. 
I don't think it rained no. one. <laughs> At the happy moment. So we were. Um, actually, you were, in, huh? yeah, I showed a video. On, if y'all are watching, go to the video right before this 10B, uh, episode 10B. And I show a very cool footage of this, of the bridge that you would have to drive over. I think we talked about that. Oh, yeah. And it was so skinny. And the creek would just have these flash floods that would come down from these big, you know, the ranch is sitting in a valley. We're sitting in yeah. the right in the and that's also why the native indians on the land could hear the kids yelling or screaming when we were having fights with the adults or getting spanked really hard or just being abused because the yeah. sound would echo up to the mountain they yeah. would hear it and they would be like you can uh, we keep hearing some sounds out there you know yeah yeah and it ain't it ain't you know lion king music i i definitely remember that that stream it's not really like it turned into a river Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Um, what I was sure. going to say, sorry, that bridge yeah. and that creek specifically, if you go back and yeah. watch that video, um, yeah. it overflew. It, that was the only way to go into the entrance of the Int Ranch for vehicles, right. like for them mm -hmm. to get on and off. And so, of course, to me, my attention's always on this because it makes sense now. Why? why I was so freaking scared that we were going to freaking fall off that side of the bridge. I went back and looked. And I'm like, this bridge is small. Like, yeah, it's only and so it was. all this water is coming down from the valley, right from the mountains. And there would be flash floods, there would be mudslides, yep. there would be we there was times where cadet got Matt Price got stuck in the sink sand and muds and was sinking and they had to get the tractor and pull people out. What? of the Yes, this happened all the wow. time at the end ranch. Crazy stories like this. Yes. And so wow. there were times where the bus it couldn't get through the bridge was overflowed too much. And they then started strapping um, a tightrope across the <laughs> eucalyptus trees from the creek, and they would sh swing the food bins across. When, yeah, <laughs> one year when we were stuck at the Ant Ranch, I they event then uh, th this is where we're going to the evacuations. Eventually, they did after a year, couple years when there were these floods, they would see oh that it was that it was um, really like they would know okay this is getting bad. So then they would they would put us on a the school bus or one of the gold base buses and get us off the property and leave us like at the Devonshire or the Kirby or whatever the gold dorm birthings were. We would go yeah. there and just stay in one of the dorms or something. Wow. So you did have or to evacuate. Yep. And we slept over and sleep slept on floors and cots and stuff. Um, when that bridge started to overflow, I think it was just because right. they didn't want to get caught by child services, you know, or the fire department being like, well, how, how come you, you guys had all these kids stuck at the, on this property and there was no outlet. Yeah. Like what if, what if that yeah. year, whatever. Anyway. So yeah. It was ridiculous. That, it was that definitely there, a bunch of that. That there was only one way out. That was crazy, huh? Yeah. And if there was another way out, it was not talked about or known about purposely because they yeah. um uh, because they way. didn't want people to know they don't want you to know that yeah. there's other ways to leave the ranch like if you wanted to blow you had to walk through the indian reservation so that was always in your mind like you're not gonna make it out alive or something because they used to shoot at the bus yeah yeah uh here's a question joni said how could the parents do it to i don't i can't answer that question I'm you know when i was when my kids hit 11, I would look at them and I'd go, what were my parents thinking? Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, how could you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, they're they're also shamed into it because I know when, when um, I mean, I was 14 and when they wanted me to be full-time staff and my mom said, no, she's got to finish school first. It was like, you're stopping the entire planet from being cleared, you know? <laughs> And uh, so she's shamed into signing it away as if she's going to murder people on the planet by not giving her child, you know? Yeah, I just, I, it's hard for me to cope with um, the, like, I don't know how to explain it, but like trying to have empathy for my parents and being like, because right now they're still doing it to me. It feels yeah. like, mm -hmm. like, because they're not leaving, because they're not talking to me, because they're not, it feels like it's still active. So I still yeah. struggle with that question in my head. I'm like, even yeah. if I could understand it, they're still doing it now. So what makes it okay right. now? 
after they've no. seen me declared, after they've seen my music, they've been, they've seen me try to express to them. I just want to be myself as much as I can without getting in, you know, declared and all that. I tried to do as much as I yeah. could. As, and it's not freedom. It, you, you, you know, if you're a Scientologist, mm -hmm. you're not free. Your life no. is fucking not Zero. free. You, no. So, it's not real. It's fake. Anyways, okay, yeah. Uh, Nikki yeah, that's right. R, thank you for your support, sweetie. It says, lovely to see you all. Anyone interested in doing a series like Claire's, Reese Shelley, about Mary Sue and or other women disappeared by the men of Sin Sino Psychos? Um, yeah. Love to learn more from folks with personal stories. Yes, they are, there are actually. There are people talking about it and bringing up more things and like, where's Bob Ferris and things like that. Yes, yeah, so yeah. for sure. But and that's a great idea. But I'll be doing a whole thing on my channel, um, Al Scientology Stories, Peeling the Onion. I'll do a whole thing on Mary Sue with photographs, and I'll talk to different people and get some stories. I mean, Mary Sue was my legal guardian when we were on the Royal Scotland when I arrived at 11 years old. You're the perfect person to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. yeah. You're so, so knowledgeable, baby. My babies. Yeah, so, my strong, my so, strong babies in the world. <laughs> Yeah, so that will be she done. Is. We'll do a whole thing on Mary Sue. That'll be so cool. I'll be listening to that. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go, Joni. <laughs> Lara is goldenrod learning. Janice is goldenrod wise. And Amy is on purpose blue. No, Amy is on purpose <laughs> blue and she's hey, hey, goldenrod. <laughs> and then hold on. Like, come on. Like, she's My fully pants. in. She's fully in. She <laughs> just has her class and she's got her goldenrod necklace and her earrings. Wow. Yeah. I do put this a, on. We need a zoom in though, because no, don't zoom in because my bra straps were showing. So I put this over it. That was great. Thank you guys so much for the support. Oh, and yes, thank you, Jen. She's so yeah. good. She's reminding me. Everyone, go listen to Lara FM's music. Yes. I know we're all on the live channel now, but I do have music videos and songs. Go listen to them. Go listen to them loud too. Go listen to them by yourself loud and you're going to really get it. I, yeah. <laughs> A lot of heart went into those songs. Yeah. Uh, CC. Yes, CC. I think you guys might know CC. CC's in Mojave. Maybe not. Maybe. Uh, so yep. proud of you, Lara. And Amy and Janice stepping in is a dream come true. Thank you both. P.S. I'd love to see the entire two hours. Well, get on it. Hello. Oh, by the way, a good piece of advice is I, like when I'm watching other YouTube, SPTV YouTubes of, you know, Janice or even Amy's or Aaron growing up in Scientology or any of that uh, degraded daughters. I just I go to the settings and even on my voice, I go to the settings and I go to uh, playback speed. It normally says normal. Just click on it and go to one and one point five, and it just says it faster, and so you can catch up on everything, and you could still hear all the jokes and the laughing and all that. It just sounds like <laughs> Amy's little cute voice is like ah, like, and I'm like, Whoa. anyways, whatever. Very weird. <laughs> I'm sure that sounded even weirder. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. That was really fun. Thank you, CC, so much. You guys are excellent, excellent trays, and thank you, uh, Miss Stephanie. Stephanie. San Sandoval, Sandoval, super sticker. Thank you, five dollars, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you for your monies and your support. We love it. I love it. It's so um, encouraging to continue everything as we go. Um, I think we already read this one when we were, yeah, 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 when we were in our midst. Uh, what's this one? Question: Hi, ladies. I'm gonna buy my first book. Where should I start with my sweet Amy B? Where should you start? Um, yeah. yeah, just yeah, just get the Scientology Abuse at the Top by Amy Scobie. You know, I just started and narrating it um, on my channel, like with my added commentary. <laughs> oh, wow. So I, I just did chapter one. I'm going to do chapter two, record chapter two after this. But um, yeah, so you can get that at my uh, website, which is scobie-publishing.com. And so Janice, cool. right? Your book. Yeah. And when two you're books. done with Amy's book, I have <laughs> two books. Commodore's Messenger, and they can be gotten on Amazon. 
Just put in Commodore's Messenger or Janice Gillum Grady. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. And they're really awesome. I, I know I've, I, yeah, I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm going to do a book. I just think if, if I do something, it'll be kind of probably like yours, Amy, where I just kind of, um, uh, talk and do it like that. I think that's nice. Right. I, there's something more, there is emotion in voice and there's emotion. Obviously yeah. I sing and do music and like, so like oh, you I put a lot of emotion. Yeah. Yeah. And I wasn't uh, sadly, I wasn't a big book reader. So I do really yeah. like I love reading books and hearing the audio. I love yeah. that. Like yeah. for people who can't hear, or um, for people who can't read, and for people who can't hear, they can read the book, they can listen, like mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Um, and I just love even it kind of keeps you aligned in the personality and everything when you can read mm -hmm. it. So that's something I might do, but yeah. Good job yeah. for doing that, you guys. And it's impressive yeah. that Janice, her little, what do you call that? Get it done skills. Totally she 40. Just, <laughs> book. She's like, I'm on book number two. <laughs> I'm working on, well, I haven't been working. I've done four chapters of three, book three. But yeah. we'll see whenever I, I'm so not good. ready to get back into that. <laughs> Uh, can I ask you a question, Janice and Amy, when you're doing your mm -hmm. books and stuff, did you do like when you go to sleep, don't you have, do you have dreams and all sorts of stuff that come up like that never totally came yeah. up for 10, 15 years? And, and it, it took me seven years to write both those books. And I'd, I'd go to, if I really get into it, I, I'd stay up late to like two or three in the morning, sometimes six, just on a roll. And then sometimes I'd go to bed and I can't sleep and I'd have to get up and <laughs> type it all out to just clear my head to get some sleep. It's like that for me too. It's, it's so funny because you go through so much emotion when you're recalling things. And it's amazing what I could remember when I was writing it that just hasn't been in my mind forever. And I was writing it and, um, and it all came back and, um, and I went through like every emotion as I wrote was writing. So yeah, because yeah. you have self discovery. Like, why did I let that happen to me? You know, why did I go in agreement with that? How did this really right. transpire? You know, so yeah, you go, you go through yeah. all of that. Mm -hmm. It's a it's an emotional roller coaster writing. Yeah. It. That's you know, what I mean. You sit there with and I'm already getting through, I'm already going through a fucking emotional roller coaster right now, but yeah. I still got my head on my shoulders and I understand my strength. And I also I love the knowledge and everything I have now. So yeah. like yeah, well, that keeps you it together. With, but I'm like, how am I gonna write a book? Is that, that's gonna put yeah. me in the grave. <laughs> but you can you can sit there with uh, with tears rolling down your face as mm -hmm. you're typing stuff up. And I think that's why I haven't done book three, because book three will have my mother's whole death. And I just oh. I just don't want to confront that. I'm not ready. Right. right. Oh. Yeah. 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 It might take some time. Right. Yeah. I'm working on book book two. So oh, that's good. what I'm because my book ends when my mom and I got disconnected. But we got oh, reconnected right. and I did yeah. a lot of media and I, I went on fire against Scientology when they forced my mom and I to disconnect. I mean, I just was vocal around the world. And um, right. so all of that's in going to be in this next book. It's going to be pretty interesting. And, and, and the little P Dickie? PI chases and all the PI chases. What? And little Dicky stories. <laughs> That'll probably be in there too. Matt, Matt okay. wrote those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We were I doing revelations. I was like little dicky stories. What does that mean? So when we were under the radar, um, Matt wrote these stories, which were um, called the bedtime series, like bedtime stories. And um, we were talking about little Dicky, and that was David Miscavige. Um, oh, and I was going to say the only person you must be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we were revealing a lot of the things that we were finding out going around and seeing a lot of people that left the Sea Org in this whole series. So and it was put it was written as a, as bedtime stories like a dad telling his son, you know, new revelations and stuff like that. So it was and no one knew who was writing them. <laughs> yeah, so funny. Yeah. Okay, so this one, Don says, uh, Lara, for all the yucky food or lack thereof, how did you keep... So I thought that was... I didn't know that that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, are you talking about now or when I was a kid? Because I guess I've always had quite a good figure. And it's because they make us work our asses off. And I still work my ass off today. So that's where I get yeah. my hot figure. From working <laughs> and rock slamming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay here's another one uh do you know how it fared in the storm oh i don't know gold base probably i don't know yeah I oh don't just know. the current current yeah no no information on that currently laura do you have enough video from what didn't make the documentary to make your own i would love to hear the audio on this one and others very well it's not my footage i don't own the footage the footage was owned by the person who did over the rainbow documentary and and they're not going to give me the, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not interested. Um, I can, what you're hearing is just me explaining all the things about the area we're in. Kind of exactly what we just did going over all this stuff. So that's probably all you're going to get. But I'm sure if we don't do whatever, I'm sure there will be documentaries and shorts and videos and all that. All this is for this. This All these all these images, mm -hmm. all these videos, everything. Uh, Janice, yeah. this one. This one is for you. I wanted you to read that one. Oh, wow, Janice. At 11 years on a ship made SO sign, a, made so sign, SO sign a contract. Made, made to I sign think, a contract. Probably made to. Is probably yeah, made, made to sign a contract. I think I mm -hmm. would have had no way to understand what that even means at 11. Which yeah. we. Yeah, it was. Which, yeah. Yeah, well, you don't, but it's like if you're. Your choice is to be offloaded and have nowhere to go or sign the contract so you can be there when your mother returns from mission. What are you going to do? You sign a contract. Yeah. Do you have another? Um, is there any? What else do you do? <laughs> that, that's not yeah. meant to be answered. That, jump well, in the ship. Yeah. Jump the ship. Blow. Run away. <laughs> yeah. Blow to where, though? <laughs> Or have them put you in the chain locker until you see otherwise. And so this one's from Candy's Life. It says, Amy, I send you my love and condolences, and I loved your memorial for your dad at Queen BSP. Thank you so much, Candy's Life. And um, uh, yeah, I did a, a little memorial, but we're we're going to do a full-blown service and stuff like that um, coming up. But um, that was my just my little goodbye to my dad. Yeah. Aww. I'm yeah. so, I mean, it would be horrible having these videos talking to you, knowing you didn't, you never got the chance to be with your dad and then he died. Oh my God. Do you can, oh so that's God. why I'm like, that's why at least I'm like, I'm so freaking happy that you're not healing a hole of not being able to talk to him. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. That's so cool. That's man. So if cool. I, if I'm going to LA, I'm going to go see Phil. I swear. <laughs> I swear. He's right there. there i'm right there He's i'm right, right by i'm right by the organization every day i see all the sea org members loading up on the bus to go to their post that's only two blocks down the street oh my god oh Same you're thing. down by the anthony building i'm i'm like a couple blocks away from the blue big blue scientology i see the big blue scientology sign every day <sighs> Yeah. Oh Talk about Okay. If I come to LA, I'm I'm taking you and we're gonna go get your dad. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do it. I'm down. I'm always down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always down. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right. This was amazing, you guys. Thank you all yeah. for your questions. Thank you so much. Um, all three, all three of us. Um, yes. I, I will do good. this again whenever if you guys whenever you're available again I'll have more photos and videos uh up and ready for you guys. Um this was so fun. This was so healing. This yes. is so therapeutic. Um I I'm so if you guys are watching I I'm, I'm sure most of you are already subscribed to Amy and um Janice's channels, but if you're not go find go find them. They're really easy and if not I'll put them later down below on this video. Um mm. thank you guys so much. Is there anything else you want to say? Yeah, I'd like to just mention tomorrow at two o'clock, I'm going to be interviewing Sterling Tompkins, who again was at the ranch. He wasn't. I have a little eh about that because oh. I watched his uh, thing with Aaron and I'm like, yeah. I have so many questions that I don't even think Sterling realizes. Like I, one of the I sent Aaron a super chat and I said, Sterling, hi, Sterling do you know what your mom did to fuck up so badly to be at the Int Ranch? Why was your mom at the Int Ranch handling kids? 
when she was a oh. senior in, you know, when was? she was a really hot, her, no, uh, her, his mom is Barbara Tompkins. Oh, Barbara. No, and so Biddy I was is just, his real I'm mother. Saying, okay. I'm going to watch. I'm going to listen. It's, I have okay. a lot of feelings about Sterling period, just, just in general, because of, um, like I knew I, he, I just, we, he wasn't at the Ant ranch. He maybe went to the Ant ranch to go play sports a, a few times a year. Uh, and it, to me, he seemed like a little bit of a bully and like, a oh, and then he would be gone. And so, yeah, I'm sure he said it, it bleh, I'm getting mad because he said okay. something so crazy on Aaron's thing that, well, when I, my experience wasn't that bad at the ranch. And it was just like, you weren't at the ranch, Sterling. Then you were not at the ranch. You know, I know he was. So I just, I'll be watching, but I also will have my little questions yep. in the chat. Yep. Go ahead. We'll yeah. be ready to answer them. And that's no, right. You when know. is that? I still want to watch it. When is that? Tomorrow? Tomorrow, two o'clock. Okay, good. Perfect. I'm going to watch yep. it. I mean, that's why we're doing this. Hello. And exactly. Yeah. even me listening to your guys' conversation is going to, it answers questions for all of us. So. Yeah. That's really yeah. And, and you, yeah. you can even text me if you can't get through on the chat, text me any questions you have and I'll take them up. Perfect. Good. Yeah, Annie, and do awesome. you have something coming up? You have. I have tomorrow night um, at 7 p.m. Eastern is the Wednesday. Um, uh, All things Scientology with Claire Headley. Awesome. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an interesting one. This We're going to talk about the weird Sea Org practices. And I've got a list. Matt and I sat down last night making a list. And we're like, oh, my God. It didn't oh, stop. Oh, this is going to be, it, it's going to be more than one video. That's for sure. Yeah, that was, it didn't stop. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm going to be watching both of you tomorrow. You guys are so Wonderful. freaking awesome. Thank you yeah. so much for being here. Thank you so much for answering all the questions. And we're going to do this again because yeah. we have more photos and more yes. stuff. Yes. We'll see all y'all tomorrow on uh, Amy Roxton. and Janice's uh, things and make sure to subscribe to their channels as well. And put there's a little notification, just so you all know, there's a little bell on the subscription. So not only should you subscribe, but put the bell notification on. So whenever they do or I go on live, your it, it notifies you. It will say, here you yeah. go. They're going on live in an hour or whatever. So then you don't have Good. to be wondering when, who and who's going on. Exactly. Okay. Love you, Laura. Love, love you. you, Amy. I love you so much. Janice, <laughs> love you so much. We're such rock stars. You do. Love you all out in the chat. Thank you all for the advice. Rock slam the like. Yeah. <laughs> rock slam it and rock slam it hard. Very good. <laughs> Searching for the right child Somebody is telling you what's right Now you're going to have to decide What you're gonna